What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Match and Drum Whiskey Room on this Whiskey Wednesday night. Uh, got a special show tonight, guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, going to be welcoming in our guest uh, very, very soon here. I um, want to welcome all you guys. want to welcome all my Patreon supporters. I want to welcome all the drum line, uh, everybody that's a, a member of the YouTube uh, channel. Uh, also want to uh, welcome everybody else out there that's ready to just have a good time tonight. Uh, I want to do say thanks to everybody all the positive feedback we've gotten from the um uh from nancy fraley being on the show last week uh she was absolutely amazing she reached out she had a great time um that was kind of like blending 101 and i think she wants to come on again and do like a 102 like an like the next course so uh, so i think uh we we, we're, we might plan on doing something like that but uh definitely want to say hi to a bunch of you in the chat guys have been hanging out here um uh, let's see here. Let me pull up the chat. We have a bunch of people hanging out nice and early. Adam Dorman, Bourbon Battalion's in the house. What's up, buddy? Fellow Ohio guy. Uh, Young Pei Chang's here. Snoop 310, YTPC. Daniel Kerber, of course. What's up, Kirby? Uh, thanks for coming in, man. Uh, Sugar Kitty, the random samples in the house. Uh, Karen B. Ford, Christopher David, of course. Uh, B. Sims. Uh, Tim Evans, of course, Whiskey Tornadoes here, one of our guests tonight, also the Shelf Turds. We will meet them very shortly. We have a very fun live stream coming up, just uh, just hanging out with them. Uh, Jeff Perkins, Jim Muller, The Roop is here. Brad Maisonville, what's up, man? Uh, Jeff Perkins, Chris Buzalencia. Nick the Greek, you absolute stud. Nice to see you. Adriana C. Rodriguez, what's up? Nice to see you as always. Uh, Kilko is in the house. Uh, Ryan Tarpy, David Goldman, Mark JG, Steve A, of course, the OG mod. What's up, buddy? Old Man Joe is here. Uh, Barry Hawk, Chris Luttig. Uh, nice to see you guys. Let's see. Cheers to everyone. Um, so before I bring on uh, a very special guest tonight, uh, I want to just say a couple things here. So one, I don't know if you guys know uh, or follow Scotch Trooper on Instagram, uh, Scott's Trooper uh, was a longtime Instagrammer and photography uh, Instagrammer, and he used to take a lot of photos of, uh, of basically the Star Wars figurines with some of his beloved scotches and other whiskeys. And it was pretty incredible. It was a it was a fun it was a fun Instagram to follow. Um, he uh, he unfortunately uh, got cancer. Uh, I think it was last year, or the year before, or late of the year before. I forgot exactly when it was. Uh, the Scotch Test Dummies actually, you know, did a fundraiser for him and his family, which was incredible. Uh, unfortunately, uh, he passed away. Um, so not to, you know, start the live stream on a on a uh, down note. But uh, if any of you have ever seen his stuff on Instagram, you know, it was it was really fun, really just I mean, some of his photography was absolutely incredible. I mean, to the point where, you know, you know, uh, I think Lucas, George Lucas noticed <laughs> and he got, he, he ran into a little bit of trouble for that stuff, but he, you know, he kept it going as long as he could. Uh, unfortunately, we lost him to cancer. He was a really great guy. So I just wanted to say cheers to him. So everybody raise a glass to Scotch Trooper. <clears throat> um, yeah, absolutely great guy. Also real quick, um, 
I actually want to do a apology to the bourbon culture. So on my uh, on my Bardstown discovery video that I did, I talked about that mystery, uh, the mystery mash bill that was, uh, you know, that 78 and a half percent mash bill. That's, you know, a lot of people believe to be beam uh, that's been running around. So as you know, I do a bunch of research and I I basically, you know, read what what they had written and doing the research and um, uh, you know I I read it on my on my review to kind of get the background of it because uh, I thought it was really well researched, really well read, and very well written. Um, and I never gave a shout out to them on the on the video and kind of my haste to rush it to the uh, to YouTube. Uh, I, I never mentioned it on my channel, so I want to give a formal apology to them. Go check out the Bourbon Culture uh, on uh, bourbonculture.com. Doing great work, great research. If you like, you know, just to read about bourbon and, you know, in general, they do some great research, have some great reviews. So my apologies to you guys. And um, if I if I find anything else on your site, I'll be sure to give you a shout out in the future. So just wanted to uh, just wanted to uh, get that out of the way as well. And um, and tonight. We also have a pretty epic giveaway that I'm going to be doing. Uh, we're going to get into that soon, but any super chat will get you in the running. Daniel Kirby is ready. Uh, and we're going to uh, bring on my guests right now. You guys, you may or may not know them. Uh, they're absolutely killing the game right now. Doing, they're having some really fast growth on, on YouTube, in the Whiskey Tube. Uh, I've been wanting to have them on. We planned this a while back. Uh, very you know, unique channels here. So, and I love having newer channels on talking to them and asking why they got into the whiskey tube game. And also we're just going to have a fun blind tasting tonight, uh, brought to you by the legend Will Henderson. So let me bring them on here. Here we go. First, I'd like to bring on David and Kira, the shell turds. Your glasses are clean. Stop. No, they weren't clean. Yeah, they're clean. You just I got to get them clean before them the line. It's so annoying. I don't want to go on with dirty glasses. Oh my God. Just pay attention. Can you see me, guys? You're on? Oh, hey. oh, hey. <laughs> I love you so much. Oh. oh, look at you guys. What's up, Jason? Also, I want to bring on this guy. Uh, his channel name is Whiskey Tornado. His name is Lance. What is up, Studley? Hey, what's up, guys? Lance. I mean, first we have to follow Nancy Fraley, and then you bring me on after Kira and David. This is, this is horrible for me. <laughs> Oh, don't uh, worry, man. You're uh, you're you're good. You're good to go. You got the good background. You're all. You got the nice lighting. You're all set, man. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers, to you, buddy. Uh, so so what we're gonna do here is uh, so Will Henderson, if you guys don't know already in the chat room, he's he has provided some very fun blind tastings for a lot of different channels, mm -hmm. and uh, actually this was credit to Lance. Lance really kind of got us together uh, to collaborate and do a this blind flight. Uh, on tonight's stream. And I mean, this thing has everything. It has clues. It has intrigue. It's got shell turds. It's got tornadoes. <laughs> and we're going to, we're going to be tasting through this. We're going to be drinking fireballs, some Paps Blue Ribbon whiskey. It's going to be a mess, but it should be a lot of fun tonight. <laughs> really so, why are you nervous? Why is Kira nervous? Paps freaking so, whiskey. So despite the fact that because she's had this many, many times. It never ends well. So she's a little nervous. Uh, but you should stay away from that then, uh, Kira. But that's okay. Uh, before we dive in, why don't you, Kira and um, and David, why don't you why don't you tell us a little bit about yourselves and uh, about shelf turds in general? You guys have a very unique niche in in whiskey too that I like. I mean, I've seen channels that are you know they're funny, but you guys kind of take it to another level. It's pure whiskey comedy. So. Kind of tell us about your channel a little bit and what led up to it. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, is is now the we've been waiting to make an announcement for a while. Is to now is now the, the right time for the announcement? Sure. Our channel's not about whiskey. <laughs> so <laughs> just want to get that out there. We get drunk on a channel and it got mistakenly uh, known as a whiskey channel. Then why do you make me smell it? Uh, because it's it's like a parody now. Like we're like, oh, someone calls us a whiskey channel, so we're gonna like parody whiskey channels now. And uh, and really, we just get on and act like big jerks, and then people are like, oh wow, what a great whiskey channel. And we're like, not really. 
Uh, I no, want to say a quick thank you to Frank Schatzman, uh, B Sims. Looking forward to a great show. It's gonna it's gonna get fun tonight, guys. Hey, Whiskey Central's here. What's up, Shayla? We also have Whiskey in the Six. Rob is in the house. I um, want to say thanks to Mark Royland. Says I'm in. Uh, Cletus Sussman. Good to not see you in a bathtub tonight. <laughs> Hope you keep up with the antics. I'm gonna try my best, man. Uh, so I got I gotta say though, David, the 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 chemistry you have with Kira on those. Uh, my the the episode that got me and you guys have had some funny episodes was the close encounters episode you did <laughs> oh. that one that one like i'm like oh my god these guys are comedy gold and i love i don't know kira i don't remember what it was but kira you were you were eating i think a banana nut muffin or something like in between like the rye you were drinking i think it was like rittenhouse and you were drinking pikesville and you're like mm -hmm. if you ever want to clean up your palate have a nut muffin or something. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I usually eat a lot. So yeah. I'm constantly eating all the time. And actually that episode was one of our worst episodes that we had done together. And then David was just like, I'm going to throw aliens in it and make it funny. Because <laughs> it was not good. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, so, all right. So legitimately, we just try to have a good time. And, um, and I mean, I'm kind of new to my whole whiskey and bourbon journey. I've only been into whiskey for like maybe five, six years, only been into decent stuff for two or three years. Here is a recent convert as of like three years ago. Pikesville was actually the, the, the pour that switched her from vodka over to whiskey was Pikesville rye. Oh, it was and, Pikesville. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, Pikesville, great. I, I, you, hear, you see sometimes in the chat, people are like, I want to get my wife into whiskey. What do I do? A lot of people say Angel's Envy. You're not wrong with Angel's mm -hmm. Envy. Yeah, but we recommend Pikesville just because that was was Kira's conversion. It. But for the channel, we started the channel, uh, a whiskey channel, without even knowing whiskey tube existed. We had no idea. It was just like this idea we had, like, oh, wouldn't that be fun and funny? And uh, oh, 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 how oh, how wrong you were. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And uh, we got in and found out about the community. And then I think it took us uh, a couple of minutes to kind of figure out what we were doing. And and it from there sort of became like uh, it's half tongue in cheek. It's half real, half not a lot of sarcasm. And uh, and then when I get around to the edit, I like to add a lot of things to it. So that's sort of the the heartbeat of the channel. Yeah. And I, I think, yeah, like I said, the uh, you, you guys put in some real <laughs> the editing is is pretty amazing, too. So kudos to you, David, for that. Um, really good. Yeah, Appreciate if none of you guys have checked out or, you know, obviously I have, you know, the anybody, any of the mods can link to uh, Shelf Turds, you know, go get them subscribed. They're putting out uh, amazing and also very unique content uh, in, you know, the Whiskey Tube realm, even though it was never meant for Whiskey Tube. It was meant for a Comedy Central show, apparently. <laughs> um, and now we're going to go down to Lance. Lance, so uh, I want to tell everybody where you're from, uh, when, you're, when your channel started, and um, a little bit about yourself and why you started a YouTube channel. Well, unlike uh, David and Kira, I, I don't think my channel is very unique. I'm just a former fat kid who loves whiskey. And uh, <laughs> uh, I, you know, years ago I had a fitness channel, so I'm not new to YouTube, but I am new to like the work it takes to edit the videos and you know, do color correction and all that stuff. That's why I admire, Jason, I, I admire what you do so much because watching your channel evolve over the years is just, it's, I know the hard work that's take, that's, that takes. Um, and watching what David does, like right out of the gate, his editing's great, you know. Uh, so I really admire both your channels. But I was just, you know, I, I uh, started a fitness channel years ago and uh, lost 75 pounds and put a video up on YouTube and it went viral. Um, and this was like, you know, this was 10 years ago. So kind of the beginning of when YouTube started and I had, I mean, people from all over contacting me, asking me what I did and how I lost weight. So I just started a Facebook group full of, full of people and just helped them for free. And that group grew to like thousands of people. Um, and that turned into me starting, uh, fitness retreats here in my hometown of Champaign, Illinois. And people flew in from the UK and Florida and California and uh, put them through live workouts. And uh, one of my Patreon members now is a guy that I helped lose 211 pounds. And, uh, you know, we walked our first 5K together and cried at the finish line. And so it's just been about helping people with the expectation of nothing in return. And, um, and then I found, ironically and weirdly, I found this love of whiskey. Um, 
which now I feel guilty because he's one of my Patreon members. I helped him lose all this weight. Now we're drinking whiskey together. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but you know, it's one of those things. You start a new channel. I didn't know. I'm, I was like, David, like, I didn't know anything about whiskey. I just knew I loved it. And, uh, and, and I, I heard a phrase a long time ago, don't let the start stop you. And even though I didn't know anything, I just knew I loved whiskey. I love this community. You know, when I talk to family members, they're like, well, is this, is this a bunch of like drunk rowdy guys at a bar? I'm like, no, these are actually really good people who give the communities and, and the whiskey community is just amazing. People, a lot of people don't understand that about this community. So, um, I just jumped in and, you know, said, whatever happens, happens. I've been pretty good about having tough skin and not caring, you know, about trolls or if people give me shit about what I do, just, just doing what I love and, and really just enjoying my passion. And first it was fitness and, and now it's whiskey. And, um, you know, I still, I run a gym. I have uh, a couple of trainers on, on staff. So I still help people in that realm, but, um, I just love whiskey and, and this community so much that, um, this is what's charging me up at the moment. So, yeah, the, the, and I could probably, probably something that David and Kira, um, experienced too, because you remember they, <clears throat> they started their channel, not really figuring on like what the community was. And then you get into whiskey tube and you realize, I mean, all the people in the chat, what a strong community it is and how giving and how generous and just how freaking cool as shit everybody is. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, then on top of that, then you realize it's a lot more work than it usually <laughs> than you thought it would be. Um, which I mean, and that's you know that's the kind of the life of the whiskey tuber. But uh, I, I do want to say thanks to you guys for bringing some new content to YouTube. Uh, I love what you guys are doing. I definitely watch when I can. Uh, when I'm not up late, freaking making my own shit. But you know, you just you just kind of watch what you can. But um, well, thanks to you, Jason, for having us on. It's uh, I, I mean, having small channels on is amazing. And, um, you know, I hope to have other channels on my channel as well to help people out. But it's, uh, you know, getting started, those first hundred subs are so, are so hard. And uh, and you do have to put work in. That's why when you see somebody hit a thousand subs, like I was cheering, I was cheering shelf turds on so much. I was so excited when they hit a thousand because they deserve it. But yeah, when you I mean, see someone yeah. hit a thousand, it's it, that's that's a lot of work that goes. Yes, yeah, I like the first hundred is great, but really that first thousand was like the the landmark. So congrats to you both of you guys for hitting that landmark, and you're you guys are still climbing, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we are losing people <laughs> <laughs> after, after that Valentine's episode. I think you uh, probably gained people after that. Our numbers do this a lot. People are like, "Oh, it's a whiskey channel," and they got on. They're like, "Aliens and people in tubs." I <laughs> uh, want to say hi. Hey, Will Henderson is here. Rare Bird 101 is here. What's up, buddy? Um, we got the world's top whiskey tasters in the house. What is up? Uh, how you doing there? Uh, Matt, 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 Matt. You gotta love Matt. Um, so speaking of Rare Bird 101, tonight, every super chat you put in, um, you're going to have the chance to win one of these babies. So this is a wild turkey 13 year. Uh, this is the wild turkey 13 year father son edition that was uh, only available at the at duty free shops for a little while. Um, I don't know if it, and I'm sure Rare Bird can clarify this in the chat. I'm not sure if it ever made it to duty free shops because of the travel. Traveling has been tough for a lot of people, so some of these got to some stores. Uh, I was able to score two bottles of this, uh, so I figured I'll let somebody have a chance to win one tonight because it is pretty rare, but it's a 13-year-old wild turkey, father and son, the only uh, master distiller, father-son combo uh, in uh, in bourbon today. Master distillers, you know, you have Fred No and Freddie No. I don't know if Freddie No has the master distiller label yet, but uh, Jimmy and Eddie do, so um, it's a... Uh, I already cracked open my bottle that I have just to give it a try. It was it's it's damn good stuff. So whoever wins this, I'm sure will enjoy this. So a lot of yep, turkey strong, everybody. <laughs> so that's uh, we're gonna Very give cool. this away later. Uh, I posted that on my Instagram. Uh, the bottle is beautiful. Actually, let me get a close up for you guys. The bottle here. It's actually a one liter, so it's a big ass bottle. It's not. This isn't a 750. I'm gonna give a nice little close up there. Ew. Cheers to that. Yep. Love it. So that is up for grabs tonight. Gimme, gimme, gimme. That's good. 
Mm. That's better than no, this PBR is good. And I mean, what Jason's giving away is okay, but I mean, it's more <laughs> than got them. PBR is good. <laughs> All right. All right, so Super Chats are coming in. I see Texas uh, Lone Wander, Dustin Sylvester. Well, I guess I got to throw in five for a shot at that. Cheers, buddy. Um, thank you for all the Super Chats coming in. Uh, but really, guys, if you can, you know, definitely like the video and subscribe to these two channels. Uh, let's, let's, uh, let's keep them growing. And all right, with that, guys, what, what are we starting off with? What, are we, are we going to pregame with any of the, the PAPS or uh, Fireball yeah. before we get into this uh, blind flight? What do you want to do? I can't I can't go into a blind and do well ever, but I certainly can't go into a blind and do well sober. So we've got some, some PBR. Kira, you have PBR, but it's a different kind of PBR. What is yeah, that? Yeah, I have low calorie PBR. Do you guys know about low calorie PBR? No, I didn't know there was one. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Tim Evans. Uh Cheat Jardolino. <laughs> Drums, turds, and tornadoes. What's not to love? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> uh let's see here. yeah I, I started my channel thinking i was gonna blend a bunch of stuff that's like why why the tornado name was there and then uh, i'm just not that good at it so i just started reviewing bourbon it's too <laughs> much work just drink Turns yeah just wrong. drink exactly yeah. that's why i like you david <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i mean we've got the pbr whiskey and we've got actual pbr so if anybody has both they can make a dreams of kira which is pbr and pbr yep. it's a great drink and, uh, and then we've got some Fireball. Uh, Kira got bored a minute ago and poured some Evan Williams Wild and Bond. So it's all Steve, good. A, Steve A has a point. The question is, why is there a low-cal PBR? <laughs> <laughs> no idea. But it makes me feel better. It does. All right. You think, like, so, I don't have to work out. Yeah, so here's the Paps whiskey, guys. I don't know if anyone's seen this, but this is basically 80-proof <laughs> white whiskey that's been aged for five seconds. Oh, yeah, there's a couple in there. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little bit of this to get it to get it going oh. up here. Jason, have you have you ever reviewed this? I know this I is it? No, but I I kind of punked uh, I kind of punked Fred Minnick with it, which was pretty funny. I when we were doing our underrated overrated bourbons, I said underrated bourbon, and I I whipped this out, and he I think he went white, like he went just stone cold white. Oh, I just. <laughs> I, I, was like, I was like, I'm kidding, dude. I'm kidding. And he had no idea. He thought I was serious. <laughs> that was that was a great live, Jason. I can't wait for more of those. Yeah, we're working on our February one. So we'll let you know when that comes. Oh, uh, Nick the Greek, you big sexy man, says you had me at one liter. <laughs> Amy Baum, cheers, mass tornado and shelf turds. Uh, nice to see you, Amy. Whiskey Central. What's up, Shayla? This is $5. Some awesome channels. Cheers. <laughs> Uh, Jim G is here. 101 is worth a shot for five oh, bucks. Yeah, I know. The mash bill. Hello to all the sexy people and Jason. David, your hair is on point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I'm really curious, Jason. I would love to hear what your notes are on this. Uh, oh, god. Oh, god. Um, okay. <laughs> um, honestly. The first time I ever smelled this, I actually got a little bit of like, like sweet corn and chocolate. Okay, so I have not gotten chocolate, but really sweet corn, yeah. Very, very sweet corn, but like a like a white chocolate. Okay, but it's all, it's very it's very cereal. You know, you have it's it's obviously very young, but yeah, there's some like weird funky, like not like good chocolate, like cheap ass like. Like what's below? Like what's below Cadbury? Uh, I love Cadbury. Uh -oh. No, I know, but what I know Cadbury is good. What's below Cadbury? Like what's a step everything below? else? <laughs> <laughs> I know what it is. So you know how like X Lax comes in chocolate, like like chocolate flavor X Lax, but it's not real chocolate. Oh, apparently I'm the only guy with poop problems here. No, it's like <laughs> oh, it's so freaking gross. <laughs> um, so I mean, for those of you that don't know, it actually has a very interesting mash bill. It's 52 corn. 20 uh, 27 barley, uh, 17 wheat, and 4% rye. So it's a four-grain white whiskey. I did not know that. Uh, well, it, it makes sense that there's a lot of barley in it since it is made for, you know, from a beer, ma you know, a beer maker. But sure. So you definitely smell the barley, but, I mean, it's it, it just smells like – basically, it just smells like sweet mash. That's it. It it does. It smells like um like what you would imagine. I, I haven't really been to a distillery, but what I would imagine a mash sitting there, like uh, getting ready to be distilled, would smell like. That's what it smells like. 
Yeah, Dollar General chocolate bunnies. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. But also, it's like the chocolate that has stayed, like, like turned a little bit white because it's been, like, sitting too long. Mm-hmm. Sounds like we had very similar upbringings. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know. My, my grandmother used to buy those freaking chocolate bunnies with the candy eyeballs. She used to scare the shit out of me. <laughs> Was it the, the sideways one with just the one eye? Yeah, the one eye sideways. Yeah, no, no one eye one. Yep. Scary as shit. Yeah. Oh. And she'd buy those shits on sale like after Easter and then wait until next year to eat them. <laughs> well, I mean, they're like 20% off. That's like a whole you know, quarter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this, is, this is pretty gross. I'm actually, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to actually, I think uh, I have one of those small oak barrels. I'm going to age this and see what it turns into. That's nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. We we actually we haven't put it out yet, but our top 10 video for 2020 actually has this in the top five. So we'll put that out sometime soon. This is definitely <laughs> one of our, our whiskeys of the year. It's a triumph. Yeah, it tastes like chocolate from 1998. Yes, bourbon baller. Exactly. <laughs> exactly what it tastes like. It's got a weird, like funky chocolate to it. Wade Ward purchased Blue Spot on Jason Review and I haven't opened. If you tell me to purchase Paps Distillate, will I regret? No, you no. don't want you don't want to buy that. So don't buy it. <laughs> this is a strong buy. It's like a stock. Yeah. Strong buy. <laughs> and on, on, shelf, on shelf turds request, they're gonna tell you to go run out and get this shit immediately. <laughs> if this was a stock, we're projecting four hundred percent returns within twelve months. Yes. I need a I need a lot of water for this shit. No, <laughs> sure. So I, I'm not getting it so much tonight, but before I know we've actually gotten a, a, a hint of like a, a stanky grapefruit on this, which is also really, really weird. That sounds horrible. Yeah, it's it's bad, Lance. You don't want this. I yeah, mean, yeah, it's it's pretty terrible. I mean, I'm gonna let you guys take one for the team. <laughs> I can't even take it mixed with the low carb. Oh, oh yeah. Oh god. <laughs> we like to make PBRs and PBRs. We like yeah. to do that. Oh, oh no. Yeah. It's good. That makes it way better. You think Fran? Yeah, there's like there's like a rotten cantaloupe thing going on in here. I don't know what the yes. hell it is. Yes. Mmm, rotten cantaloupe and corn. Delicious. <laughs> Oh man! All some right. People, some people buy this by mistake. We bought it on purpose. <laughs> Go subscribe to Shelfters. The cashier actually laughed at me. She was like, "What's this?" We actually get laughed at in the checkout line a lot because we buy a lot of PBR and Fireball. And believe it or not, as common as it is on our channel, apparently is not common in the real world. I think Fireball is the number one selling, uh, like whiskey liqueur, whatever you want to call it, here in Ohio. I think it's the combination. And I, and I think I think the I think the peanut butter the screwball surpassed it for a short time and then I think Fireball's back on top. Yep, we don't know shit apparently. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, you know, it's you know, you get Columbus, you get like college towns, and you know, they're all about the Fireball and and uh, yeah. Yeah. the peanut butter whiskey. Lance, what's like, Lance, what's like your most like hated like whiskey that you've ever had? Uh, that's easy for me. It's um, it, it's an old bottle of Garrison Brothers that I got. It's straight wood and cinnamon. Awful. Hey, what's up? Daniel's in the house. What is this? A jabroni festival? It actually is. It's a bunch. These are my fellow jabronis. <laughs> <laughs> wood and cinnamon, Lance. You're, you're, so basically, you're saying Fireball. It's no, like, no, it's, it's worse than Fireball. I, I think Garrison Brothers must have got a lot better since then because everyone raves about it. I had one of the first bottles, and it's so crafty, and it's like if you just threw a, a handful of sawdust in your mouth. It's not good at all. Oh, yeah, then you have brown sugar bourbon, which I'm not even – I'm not sure how you still call it bourbon because it's brown sugar in it. I, I'm not sure how that works, but um, yeah, there's, a, there's a lot of – there's a lot of funky friggin' shit on the shelf these days. So that's why we have shelf turds. Yeah. I was like, well, that sounds good to me. Yeah. Brown sugar, <laughs> 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 just fire dust. Where's my <laughs> brown sugar? Where's that shit? <laughs> Send it over. <laughs> Go pick up some of that right now. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So um, I am, I'm going to put some fireball on the side here for later. But right now I'm going, I got, I got Will Henderson's flight in front of me. Yeah. Uh, so Will sent us clues, and he also sent. Uh, well, here's the reveal. This is the key. You know, the final key that we're gonna reveal at the end here. 
Mm -hmm. But he also sent clues. So the this this flight didn't essentially have a theme. Uh, I, I think the theme is to just mess with us as much as possible. Yeah. <laughs> um. So. So I haven't looked at this yet. So I'm going to open it up, and we'll see. And we'll see what Will Henderson says here. All right. Rules number one: match the clue to the sample. You get a point. You get a point for that. Uh, two is guess the proof. You get a point for that. Sure. Uh, three, the tiebreaker is guess the combined total of all of the proofs in the flight. Oh my what? god! We're gonna get a tie. <laughs> that's, 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 <laughs> no, they, no, Jason's gonna kill us. There's no tiebreaker. Zero. 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 Yeah, that's a tiebreaker. So David had already predicted he's gonna get zero. Kira, what are you predicting? <laughs> negative one. You can't get negative. Pretty number. I don't even know. I actually didn't listen to what he said. <laughs> I didn't know what he she said. forgot she was live for a minute. Sorry. Is she eating, is she eating uh, oat nuts again? Yeah, what are you eating? These are... uh, my daughter came down and made us some nothing. Muff, no, nothing. Some nuts. Some nuttons. <laughs> she <laughs> made you nuttons. A little baked <laughs> one nuttons here. I don't know. I don't know how you eat nuttons, but you got it. <laughs> one shot of PBR and it's already falling apart. <laughs> Does do. Welcome to Shelf Turds. <laughs> All right. So, okay. So we have to match the clue to the sample. So we have five different clues, five samples. All right. I don't even know what an orange swift is. All right. So here, so here are the clues, guys. Uh, and nobody, anybody in the chat who might know the clues, don't don't say anything because I don't want to. Um, uh, oh, oh, for all the drumliners out there, fuck yo train. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, you made that shirt yet? Oh, yeah. The shirt is being – actually have a um, – uh, someone in the chat is working on it. He's an illustrator. Um, um, where is he? Yeah, so there, there is a, there's an epic shirt coming. Awesome. Uh, Chris, uh, Chris Luddig in the, in the chat is an illustrator, so we connected – and he's going to be working on one, so I cannot wait. Um, all right, here we go. So, clues. <laughs> oh, you guys are so sweet. You got the fireball, yeah. the samples. It was wet, David. It's gross. What? what the, the, the nuttons are gross? No, yeah. Kira's lip all over my food. Well, you bit my lip, and then you just spit all over the muffin. <laughs> All right, so clues number one, brand owned by Oren Swift. Is that is that a character from an 80s movie? Jim Beam. Taylor Swift's dad. <laughs> uh, two is experimental barrel number 77. Uh, clue number three is 75 R's on the label. Ooh, that's interesting. The heck is that? Uh, clue number four is batch one of what is now a missing king. Okay. And number five, the clue is waterfall on the bottle. All right. All right. Nothing. Are these I got bottles nothing. that I can afford? Are these bottles we've even heard of? Are these Georgia bottles, Will? <laughs> All right. So I, I think I know two of them. Oh, great. <laughs> Wonderful. We're handicapped. Perfect. <laughs> Well, so the clue one for me is a brand owned by Orin Swift. So Orin Swift, I know, is a wine maker. Right. right. That's Taylor so, Swift. Yeah. So, uh, so he, I would guess it's his brand of finished bourbons or finished whiskeys that he has. If you guys have ever seen the, um, that's that weird like black bottle, right? Or no? Yeah. The uh, the burning chair. Uh, the the whip saw like all those weird wine finished whiskeys. So yeah. Um, so I don't know. That's I, I think that's one of them. Hmm. And the other one is uh, probably Chattanooga, right? Experimental Barrel seventy seven. Yeah, that sounds like Chattanooga. And then the other three, I have no clue. Seventy five R's in the label. What the hell would that be? I don't know what that is. We, Waterfall we, in the bottle would be like uh, Yellowstone, right? Isn't there a I don't know, Kira. Kira, you have any ideas on seventy-five R's? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that Will got drunk one day and started reading the general surgeon's warning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, 
I love I love texting Will. I don't know how often you guys text Will, but regardless of the time of day or the day of week, he's always building a blind. It could be Monday morning at 1030 in the morning. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, hey, what's up? It's like build a blind. Yeah, I literally just got another blind tasting from him today. I feel like it's a weekly thing, like a meal plan. Like I, I didn't I didn't you know, I didn't subscribe to, you know, Hello Fresh. I subscribed to Will Henderson sample box. Oh man, I, I can't complain about it though. His blinds have, have not only opened up our eyes to some things, but the dude is just incredibly generous. And as much as I absolutely hate his clues because I don't know any of them, like <laughs> a great, great blind builder. The dude is awesome. Yeah, he's he's pretty yeah. epic at building blinds. So, all right. So, uh, you guys want to start with uh, letter A here? Sure. <laughs> Will says it does not count the warning. <laughs> 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 that does not count the warning. Okay. So it's more than 75 hours, Will. <laughs> right, because there's at least 20. We found some holes in your story, buddy. <laughs> your, your blind is already being questioned. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to sound like ham hock, but A smells finished. Oh, <laughs> we, we are smelling. Hawk. Oh wow. Mm. Yeah, Daniel Kerber wants to know how does one get on that wheel plan and that meal plan? Hendo has uh, sent me some killer samples. Yeah. So you know I'm no good at this, but I'm getting like a, a note of like a like a uh, a cologne almost. You're not getting cherry or oak. That's all. I'm it, getting. It, is, it is a little perfumey. Yeah. No, it isn't. <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to a blind with us. You're wrong, Lance. You don't smell what you smell. <laughs> You've watched my channel. I've been wrong plenty of times. That's okay. That's the that's the fun of blinds is to be extraordinarily wrong. Oh, that's all I know how to be. It's almost like a bubble gum. Really? Yeah. That's actually that's what I get here. I get bubble gum. Yeah. See, look at I'm better than you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm better than you. <laughs> so Kira would actually be really, really good at at whiskey if she could just not get slammered by like the third the third sample. Like she would kill it, and that's where everything goes downhill. It does not surprise me. Women women generally have better palates and taste buds than, than dudes. So for sure, yep. We're yeah. better in men in general. You're better in men, or I'm just gonna smell that's inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a little bit of a, a sweet corn mash in here too. I'm picking up on A. I don't think there's a lot of I don't think there's a lot of age to this, mm -mm. but yeah, it is it is actually David. I can see where you get perfumey. I, I'm it's coming off to me like a floral. Yeah, mm -hmm. killing it. There's a floral aspect to that. I think um, you know I, I'm getting my basics. You know, like vanillas, caramels, but nothing nothing that's really jumping out. So, Jason, I don't know if your rules say this, but we have a fourth rule that says anytime Jason agrees with David, David gets a point. <laughs> okay. I like it. Sorry. Yeah, bubble gum, teen spirit, hay. Uh, there is a hay note in there. Oh, yeah, I'm getting like a, like, a, like a grassy note, like a green grass almost, like less hay, but you inspired me to think green grass. Yeah, no. it's... I think I think this is this is definitely on the youthful side. I don't know if I'm getting the finish. Uh, Mr. Mr. Tornado. Uh-oh. Who's finished? Hmm. Lance thought, thought it might be finished. Finish yeah, I don't I don't know that it is. Finished in fireball. Yeah, it, when I tasted it, it doesn't taste finished, I don't think. Like you know what? <laughs> I just Uncle I just Buck, wanted to Uncle be like Uncle, Buck. Uncle Bucks in the house. Muffin comments get deleted out of super chats. Lesson learned. Let's talk about wieners. <laughs> <laughs> <Does that work? laughs> Oh man! The other day, didn't cats get like not shown to or something like that? I don't know. I, it's it's hard to know what the mods want sometimes because I mean, on our channel, the more wiener jokes, the better. You know. Well, Kirby, well, Kirby kind of called it out here, uh, and I, I think this is the this is going to be the the goal for you and also the goal for me. The shelf turds game plan is to distract the mash and drum. Jason is putting up a strong fight. Just wait and uh, just wait until here <laughs> gets slammered. <laughs> That's right. And then that's going to be the thing because when I watch you guys shine, I love when Kira gets slammed because the stuff that comes out is, is fucking hysterical. It's going to be hard to me to focus if she keeps drinking. <laughs> well, the other tactic that we use, and we use it successfully against uh, Scotty Too Hotty, and we didn't use it su successfully against uh, Trev, 
was by encouraging you to drink Fireball and PBR during it, it gives us the advantage because you're not acclimated to it. We are acclimated to it. So <laughs> it's like going your curveball. It's actually really good. It's actually a really good curveball. It's a good strategy on you guys. So because if you guys just like end up being like, ah, oh, drink some Fireball, I'll probably just do it. And then by the end, um, in uh, in, in what Sugar Kitty usually says in the chat is hashtag stay vertical because I'm going to fall on my ass. <laughs> Does Lance, Lance, you have some fireball? No, I do not have fireball. I'm sorry. But Lance, <laughs> I do see, is that Traverse City uh, barrel proof behind you, buddy? Yeah, my it is. Spot. I just got it today, as a matter of fact. You yeah. can take swigs of that while I take swigs. Hey, uh, store pick. Ooh, that's nice. That's very nice, buddy. Ooh, that's, yeah. a pretty, that's a pretty green label. Uh-huh. There it is. Oof, do you Are you guys getting any like uh, peanuts on this? Oh, I'm tasting it. Was I not supposed to smell? Oh. Or oh, it drink. Yeah, drink, drink up, Kira. Yeah, go for it, Kira. <laughs> Don't hold back. It tastes like a like a like a ketchup that's gone wrong, kind of. <laughs> you know I, I mean? don't get that note. The old, the old, the old uh, rotten Heinz. Yes, yeah. that's what I instantly get. I, I am actually getting that a little bit, like something that's been in the fridge for way too long, some sort of a condiment, and it's, and it's started to turn. Like, um, like what's that chef always says that everything's turned? Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. If I'm Gordon Ramsay, I'm like, this is 10. It's totally 10. <laughs> and your aunt brings it to, like, a picnic. Here, kids. <laughs> Sweet tea. Just got home from the hospital with my newborn son. Cheers, everyone. Right. We're back over in the latest Harbinger 21. Hey, congrats, Sweet tea. Cheers. I think there's a fireball swig. Oh, fireball swig for that. Here we go. All right, fireball <laughs> swig it is. All right, right Man, from the that's bottle. That's the only way. All right. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, Lord. <laughs> and then if you got oh it. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my. Ooh, that's sweet. Oh, what is happening? It, <laughs> it leaves a little uh, milk mustache on your upper lip, but I love that. Yeah, it's a flavor saver I got going on right up here right now. <laughs> Uncle Buck said, thank you, Lance, for not wearing your Cardinals hat. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh. <laughs> it's not uh, up to down below. I just lost half my subscribers. Sweet Tea, does a, I want to know from Sweet Tea, what's the little guy's name? Is it Kira? Is it David? <laughs> is Shelter. it Lance? Shelter is a good middle name. Is it, uh, is it Turdington? <laughs> Oh man. Uh, Nick Foles, Match and Drum. How do you feel about ECBP going back with a low proof for A121? Um, I mean, we've been, it's kind of a thing you've been seeing with some of these, these, uh, these, these bourbons that are generally high proof or coming in at lower proof points. Again, you don't realize like, you know, what the aging is doing to it. Um, I know some people are already theorizing that, oh, Heaven Hill is watering it down to sell more bottles. Uh, you know, I, I don't I don't think they would do that because they built such a good brand with, I mean, I don't know, you never know, but I think they built such a good brand with, uh, you know, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. I can't see that happening, but uh, I think for all of you in Ohio, I believe it's, it's supposed to drop next week, I think, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, um, if not late this week in some places, so... Keep an eye on them. Definitely, you're going to be looking for that A121. It's the Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs are always my favorites. They always end up in my top, you know, every year because uh, mm -hmm. they're just so damn good. Yeah, Daniel Kerber, you're in chat, right? That's one of the uh, the ones that you sent us, right? The A121. It's delish. I have the, the card over here somewhere, but I figured it might just be easier for you to chat it out. Yeah, B yeah B919 was a lower proof. It just happens. Yeah, I I mean I mean look at look at Stag. Stag was 116. Uh, Two years ago. I mean, mm -hmm. so it just, you know, it, it gets, you know, it doesn't get, it doesn't get hot enough and the alcohol just, uh, you know, kind of evaporates or it gets too hot and there you go. Oh, I was wrong. We actually had A120, not A121. So my bad. Oh, you had A120. Okay. Yeah. Hey, you're so that, was hot, that was a hot one. Yes, it was. No, it yeah. B519 was 122 proof. Yeah. And a lot, you know, a lot of people liked it because. You know, they you're able to drink Elijah Craig barrel proof without all the crazy heat, you know, in there as well. So let's go to number B. <laughs> you're not drinking fast enough, buddy. <laughs> We're gonna go to number okay, number B. <laughs> so wait, so what's our 
we're gonna we'll, we'll we'll drink them first, and then we'll go through our guesses. Okay. Yeah. All right. I've got a guess for for a. You can't do it yet, Lance. Shh. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Uh, all right. So number number yeah, number number B, as Kira number would say. B. There we go. Number, number B. B. Huh. Number, number B. Uh, number B has a nice nose. A turkey yeah. gone wild. Is that a is that a girl's gone wild for it's you? A turkey gone wild. Hmm. Ooh. Oops, I drank it. <laughs> <laughs> she was smelling so hard she accidentally drank it. <laughs> I thought you were gonna snort it. I get some nuttiness on B too. Yeah. Oh yeah, B's kind of a funky ride. Mm, yeah, the yeah. Funk. Pretty good though. The more I go in, the more funk I get. It's like somebody didn't wash their balls very well. <laughs> One of those uh like like smell like a nut muffin or something. What was it you called it? Like a nut muffin. <laughs> Nasty nut muffin. Mm. I, I went in for a sip on, on number B and I'm feeling this is a, a girthy guy. Yeah, I think there's definitely some proof to that. There's definitely yeah. some nut there. I agree with uh with Lance. There's actually some nuttiness to it. Um hmm. Mm. Wow. It's got a weird aftertaste. I'm trying to like pinpoint what that is. Yeah, it does. It's like a fake wood. Like I, think fake wood. I think it's like maybe it's like like sawdust and and uh -huh. it's weird, man. It's it's pretty tannic. Like dries my palate out pretty fast. Uh Lance, your train is the Cardinals, uh them Fookers. <laughs> I'm used to it. Bring it on. Bring it on. So it's almost like it almost like has like a wet cardboard finish on it. Yeah. That's one of your notes. Is I wet love cardboard. wet cardboard. Do you? Do you like that with some with some of that rotten ketchup on it? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, that's how I taste like everything. Something's wet and it's cardboardy. Oh. Yeah, I think um, I'm leaning towards uh, maybe a Booker's for that one, possibly. Oh yeah, that's it's an engineer product. Oh, can we afford it? Can, uh, <laughs> maybe it's not. I don't think it's strong enough to be Booker's, but definitely could, like lean towards Beam or something. I don't know. Does yeah, it, it, it does taste like a Beam product. Josh Embry finally got the kids down. Time for a drink. Cheers, everyone. Um, All right. Adriana Rodriguez, unsurprising. BJ Johnson sent some girthy guys. Cheers, all. <laughs> I think I know exactly what this is. What is it? What Red is Bull it? Empire. This is you think it's Red Bull Empire? Yeah, because it's got a waterfall on it. <laughs> Does it? Does no. it? Kinda. Redwood Empire has got a which one? It's, there's there's a tree on it usually. It's any of them. If you're Will Henderson and you're making blinds, you're already drunk and you're like, that's not a tree, that's a waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> oh. For sure. <laughs> So I'm I'm lost on this one. I I'm getting yeah, it's, it's, it's very it's very peanutty. I mean, I would guess like Heaven Hill Beam type flavor profile. Not really sure though. Yeah, I get the beam. And then, and then you're trying to like figure out the uh, the the clues here. Mm -hmm. Waterfall yeah. in the bottle, batch one of what is now a missing king. Uh, seventy five R's on the label. Experimental barrel seventy seven and and the Orange Swift. I think the only way that I'm actually going to get a point in this blind is if I take one of these clues and guess it across all five drinks. Am I allowed to do that? <laughs> hey man, if that, if that, that is a strategy. I would yeah. do it. So what's so what's, so what's interesting is uh, the next three. So if you look at C, D, and E, they're they're, dark. they're crazy dark. They are. That's what I just noticed too. Oh yeah. So. Oh, man. Oh this my. is this is where this is where I'm looking for the finishes and possibly um, him dropping some fireball in the mix somewhere. <laughs> I'm <all> kidding. <laughs> oh, we had a Corey sighting. Corey's here. Corey's here. Corey's here. Fireball shot. Fireball shot for Corey. Corey is the only man in whiskey tube who wears a suit. Oh yeah, Corey Camerati. I see him. What do you mm. mean you know him? He's our Corey. He's my Corey. No, no. I'm, I mean, I've I've seen him on your channel before as the dude with the suit. I don't know him. Yeah, he doesn't go on your channel. You you no. may you may claim him. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. 
We love Corey. We love I'm Corey. the exact opposite of that. I'm the guy in a hoodie and a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Fireball shot. Mm, oh there God. it is. Oh, yums. So, Lance, while we're doing Fireball, are you sure you don't want to take a little sip of that Traverse City Whiskey Co. BP? Oh, I could, yeah. Do it. You're going to freaking die. You're going to love amazing. it. You're going to love it. You guys have had it similar? Well, we're from Mish yeah. again. We haven't had a store pick, but, I mean, ours is obviously fresher because we're so close to Traverse City. Yeah. Ours is better. So. <laughs> we're All just right, so much so. better. <laughs> All right, I poured a little bit of it. Man, I got to tell you guys, if uh, – if you haven't seen the, uh, I got to tell this story before we get too far into this. Let's so I, I turned on your Valentine's Day special at the gym and one of my trainers is sitting next to me. And so I, I like scrolled through. I didn't have much time at all because I've got kids and clients and everything. So I scrolled through and the first image that popped up is you holding a blow up doll. Oh. And so my trainer is like, what the hell are you watching? I'm like, don't worry about it. So I scroll forward, I scroll forward again. Was it this one? Yeah, no, it was the other one. It was the female one. Oh, it was this one? It was, it was oh. that one, that one. So I scroll forward, and I swear to you, it pulls up an image of hot buttery rolls lathering up his chest with lotion. And my trainer's like, what are you doing? I was like, nothing. I scroll forward again, and it's Jason in a tub. <laughs> And I was like, I'm turning this off. <laughs> He's like, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm like, nothing, man. It's my whiskey tube friend. <laughs> That's right. I was very, I was, I was, uh, I, I felt it was an honor to be a part of that. And just so you guys know, uh, part of the proceeds tonight that we raised for the Wild Turkey 13 is going to go towards Hot Buttery Rose's new nipple. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, wait, man. That's the man. That's the man, yeah. Yeah, oh, I, I can't. I can't compete with that. That was, that was an amazing live stream. <laughs> uh, we're here, guys, tonight. Uh, as a reminder, um, any super chat will get you in the running to win this uh, Wild Turkey 13-year Father and Son edition. That was uh, a. It was only a duty-free shop um, uh, release uh, from Wild Turkey, uh, and if you're a turkey head, it's pretty damn delicious. So, so if you want to get a chance to win that. Any super chat amount will get you in the running tonight. All right. I'm going to C. Number oh. C. Oh, number C smells like shit. Smells oh. a little crafty to me. Oh, I love it. It smells like a cigar. Uh oh. It smells like, uh, yeah, it smells very young and youthful and like, what did you say, Lance? Crafty? Yeah, crafty. Yeah, it smells crafty. And I hate, I hate, I mean, I love what craft distilleries do, but. And I support them, but I don't generally like their whiskey. <laughs> I try. It's turkey. It's wild turkey. Well, but, there's, hey, there's I will say, there. I just tried the Traverse City. And it's fantastic. Yeah, the Traverse City Barrel uh, Proof is mm, so good. This is so weird on the nose. Oh, that's not good. Oh. That's horrible. I kind of like it. There is something about this. There's and Jason, oh, I see no. the. Oh no. no, that's awful. Oh, there's no. something, something about this that almost has a similar note, one of only a couple, as this guy right here. There's something about it that is like a dark version of PBR whiskey. Mm -mm. This smells like someone who works at Home Depot in the lumber yard and he just doesn't wash his apron or his shirt. So he smells like sawed off wood. And he drinks a lot of Mountain Dew. I, oh, not, I, my face. I get I get more of sour feet, but that's that's just me. Sour yeah. feet, and apple juice. You know what I'm getting? I'm getting a little bit of a. It's like a funky wine, like a, like a wine that's turned. I think you're looking for wine because someone said wine. No, <laughs> I, it's I honestly like, it smells like stale stale honey nut Cheerios. Oh, I could definitely see the Honey Nut Cheerios. Yeah. Like soured Honey Nut Cheerios. Yeah. And then there's like, I am getting like a raisin note on this too. Like like, uh, like if you open a box of sun-made raisins uh -huh. and you just like smell the wax box. Yep. That's mm -hmm. a great note. 
and I, I often get that in Chattanooga whiskey, like, uh, like raisins and apricots. And it's so, it's so cereal. It's like total, like honey nut Cheerios with some like raisin bran mixed in. No, oh, that's crazy. I didn't try it. You guys, you guys yeah. take a sip of this shit yet? I think I gotta take a sip of it. I yeah. Take, yeah. Weird. It's different. Yeah, it's weird. Oh, wow. That is spicy and sweet. Mm hmm. Yep. Spicy and sweet. It's so drying, man. My, I just really drying. This is really shitty, Will. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. We love to look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think that's a high proofer. I do too. Dear Lord. No, I, I still like this better than Jephthah, Roscoe. Still like it better than Jephthah. What is that? So beyond spicy and sweet, there's something else there. I had it for a second and I lost it. So I kind of get the cereal that you're talking about, but it's the cheap cereal that's in the bag. Mm. Yeah, exactly. That yeah, that, went, that was sitting on the shelf too long. Got a little stale, right? Yeah. Yes. Anybody Someone in the chat HBR for the HBR Recovery Fund team proofstitutes. There you go. <laughs> Nate Gordon, thank you. Love me some turkey. Cheers, y'all. Uh, Nate, again, thank you for your service, man. Love the love the photo. Um, did he just say free duty? Did <laughs> I say free duty? <laughs> Kira, Kira, you do have some of the best notes in YouTube. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Someone uh, in the chat typed out, uh, and I don't know if it's power suggestion, but Captain Crunchberries, and now that's what I smell. So DC I'm with a twenty dollars super chat. Thank you so much, Daniel Carter. Thanks for the one. Thanks, guys, and love these Wednesday night live mashups. Yeah, man, having some fun here. Tim Evans, Turkey <laughs> Time. Thanks again, Tim. I'm getting uh, like a like a grape sucker that's just like proofed up the ass. Yeah, there is a yeah, there's, there's, there's like a, there's like a raisin grapey something going on in here. Yep. It's it's weird. Mm -hmm. I'm also getting like a, a the sweeter this thing gets, there's almost like a little bit of a like a French toast, but without the syrup. Nope. Nope, you're wrong. No. Nope. Check with Kira. You're wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's it's French. It's French, like not like doesn't smell like it tastes like if someone's cooking French toast and left it on the oven too long, like it's a little bit burnt. I that's how you make it. I know, but Sometimes. like really, but like really burnt, like really, really burnt. If it's not really burnt, are you trying? <laughs> <laughs> Some, sometimes with these bourbons that like, or if this is a bourbon that veers off like traditional bourbon, the bourbon <laughs> path. It, it takes me a little bit to like get my mind wrapped around that. And then sometimes I start to like them, even if it's a little different and funky, but from usually from the beginning, I'm like, Oh, that's just weird. And oh, look at this. ADHD whiskey with a T with a tease. Awesome giveaway. Great show tonight. And that mystery mash that you were talking about is sitting in front of me as a possible component of discovery five. The distillery in question is actually what? Sorry, ran out of characters. <laughs> no, he didn't. He you did not. Didn't. He's too smart for all of us. That's... Uh, I quit. Yeah. Um. Oh, whiskey. Uh. Okay, whiskey drovers back. That is sweet tea. Uh. Sorry, baby needed fed. My son's name is Hayden Alexander. Finding out Basil Hayden is like my seventh great uncle got me into whiskey, so I named him after that. Dude, that's awesome. That's all right. Incredible. Hey, my middle name's Alexander. Nice. My middle name is Aloysius. <laughs> uh, what's the middle name? I'm not going to tell you my middle name because it's so Grape soda, grape soda, stale bag, cereal, deliciousness. I don't know about deliciousness, but I like yeah. it. It's a it's a girthy boy. I'll tell you. You know that. what? You know what's weird about this? It, it's it's growing on me. I, it I'm is. Not, I know. It's growing on me. The, the longer it sits in the glass, I'm, I'm liking it each time I go back to it. It it was definitely, maybe it was, it was coming off the first two. It was mm -hmm. pretty off-putting at first, but now it's growing on me. That's exactly what I mean. Like some of these these bourbons that veer off, it takes a minute to wrap your head around the different taste of it before yep. you enjoy it. Dusty Dan's in the house. What's up, buddy? Dusty. That is, he is Dusty. the sexiest man in bourbon and whiskey tube, I'm telling you. 
Yeah, if he loses, really I, think, I, I think he should yeah, just so cut off all the buttons. I think he should just cut off all the buttons on his shirts. Yeah, you need to just do away with the buttons. <laughs> Trev Williams. I said Trev Williams. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's bad. Yep, sorry, dude. <laughs> yeah, Kira was trying to say that actually uh, Trev Wilson was the sexiest man, but then she forgot that Trev Wilson can suck it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, old man, old man, just says my middle name is Man. <laughs> right, who's got who's got the worst who's got the worst middle name in the chat? Come on, Bring it. let it let it fly, guys, in the chat. I want to know who's got some funky middle names. My my actual little middle name is Michael, so it's not very exotic at all. But I know there's some people that have some really crazy middle names. No, it's me. Oh, what's your middle name? So oh. oh, hi, little shelf turd. <laughs> <laughs> She brought me a snack. Was that snack? Oh, what a good daughter. Is that is that Chef Boyardee raviolis? No, it's la. I'm not even gonna try to do it. Do it. Yep, la preferia. Oh, uh, Ooh. beans. Ooh, I oh, like refried, how you said that. Oh, refried beans. Didn't you get like a pallet of refried beans delivered to your door? This is it. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Dresser. I love it. My cool. <laughs> Mike, yeah. Mike Franklin said Did Didrich? Is that your middle name? <laughs> his, wait, hold on. His middle name is Dude Ranch? <laughs> he said Dude Ranch. Uh Chris Luttig says short turd in the house. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Lone Wander says I don't have a middle name. Ricky says Laverne. Nice. Ooh. That's I a like good that. one. Shayla, Shayla says, I have no middle name. Let's give Shayla a middle name. Shayla. Foxy. Ooh, Shayla, that's a good Shayla one. Foxy Central. Uh -huh. I like it. <laughs> it's done. It's done. Uh, beans, beans, the magical fruit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat the whole thing. I should oh, put it down. <laughs> It's gonna be a hot one in the old bedroom today. Hey, uh, how does that feel underneath the covers? The old, the old turtle shell. She give you a yeah. The old Dutch oven. Oh. <laughs> she just gave me back for. Uh, Gary, for Gary, have you ever Dutch oven, David? Oh, it happens all the time. I just don't. Oh, my stomach hurts. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, it's funny because it. mine are terrible. And yeah, we're talking about farts on mash and drum. Mine are <laughs> mine are terrible. Kira's are loud as shit, but don't smell. It's the weirdest thing. <laughs> wow. It's impressive. Yes, yeah, sugar kitty in feline skinny jeans. Oh, Lord. Uh, when you have beans and fireball, you better have a hell of a good maid service. <laughs> That's what you have a daughter for. Oh, there we go. I will make it legal tomorrow. My mom calls me Shayla Wayla. Ooh, that's a good one. That's not there bad. Dusty Dan's review. Oh, he says uh, Dusty Dan's in the house. Dude, Dusty Dan popped open a freaking bourbon yesterday from like 1913 or some shit. It was crazy. That was awesome. That, that was, was awesome. Really awesome. Are we, are we All right. So, so the D has the best nose. The D smells delicious. I was going for D. Kira's yeah. going gonna to double fist the D as well as some Evan Williams bald and bond, apparently. I want to see like a, like a, Evan Williams, D, and then Bean Chaser. <laughs> Dude, I'm sleeping in a different bedroom tonight. I'm going somewhere else. That's Ooh. fine. I'll watch my murder shows all day long. Justin Jenkins says, I farted and told the guy at the liquor barn he should thank me because he doesn't have COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Adrian Rodriguez, one middle name, but four last names, none from the husband. Oh, my God. Wow. Adriana's got four last names. That must be... She must have extra long checks that she has to write out. <laughs> Who writes checks? <laughs> <laughs> How old are you, Jason? <laughs> what? What did you say? Did you say chicks? I, I, what are checks? Checks. What are checks? Checks. What? 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 <laughs> write it, write it. You guys don't write checks no more? <laughs> I pretend like I don't know what they are because my wife is eight years younger than me. <laughs> Uh, you did, you did good. You did good, Dave. <laughs> you definitely cool. married up, David. Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> Might as well throw more scratch at it. I will also be doing the late, late show tonight within 15 minutes of Jason's ending. Join me announcing some things and talking about life and whiskey. Nice. nice. Wags in the house. Join Wags on YouTube later, guys. SWJ. Love you, Stanley. SWJ. Yeah, what's up, Stanley? 
We got pop them, don't watch them. Beans and Fireball, watch them, don't pop them. Uh, cool. So pop them, don't watch them is actually a newer channel as well on YouTube. Go check out that channel. He's doing some great reviews as well. Um, yep, good dude. Sure. All right, I'm trying the D. The D smells delicious. I'm gonna try it. It, it is. It's. Oh, it smells. I'm getting, I'm getting peanuts in a lot of these. I'm not smelling anything. Yeah, Lance is getting a lot of nuts. I got a lot of nuts. <laughs> Does anybody else? Is it just us? Is it or is it not funny, Jason, when you're doing your channel, or Lance when you're doing your channel? Every time that you smell nuts, do you giggle a little bit? Every time. I'm the highly word. immature, though. For a 44 yeah, year old, I'm very immature. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Edward Edward Fulmer said, "Write a check for your fucking train." Love it. <laughs> um, the the most I ever the most I ever cracked up behind the camera was one of my old reviews uh, was for Bell Mead Cast Strength, mm -hmm. and I went through the history of the. I already know where you're going. <laughs> yeah, they have two, there's two horse there's two horses on the front of the of the label. And, you know, they're named after like thoroughbreds that, uh, you know, from like a long line of, of, uh, you know, race winners. And one of them, one of them was named Brown Dick. <laughs> yeah. And I was, I was saying this in front of the camera and I, I had to, I literally shut the camera off like five times. I could not get through it. <laughs> so, so full admission, probably the hardest I've ever cracked up. In, in filming one of our videos, and I, I actually edited it out, and I was going to put it in the outtakes, and then I accidentally deleted the footage, was uh, during our last, uh, was the wheel blind. And and Kira on the spot made up B.J. Johnson for, for Will Henderson's name for the, the erotic book writer. And, I mean, none of this is scripted. We just riff it. And so I'm like, well, what, is, what does the J stand for? She's like, Jackson. I'm like, okay, that's kind of cute. What's the B stand for? <laughs> when she came back with Buckle Up, for Buckle Up Jackson Johnson, I couldn't stop laughing for like three whole minutes. Like I cut out three minutes of raw footage of me unable to say the name front to back. So that was so hilarious. I was actually offended that you cut that out. I was like, man, no one's gonna think you laugh at me. Yeah, you need that in there, man. That's good stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's that's gold. Yeah. Oh man, I'm getting a uh, I'm getting a smoked uh, smoking like a smoky barbecue on D actually. Oh no, I've never been to a barbecue that doesn't smell like this. Yeah, like like here here you go, Kira. Like hold it just ever so like four inches from your nose, and then just give it like a like give it a waft, like you just farted from the beans. Just <laughs> now, all I'm smelling is beans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't get Jack except old dirty wood. Old dirty wood. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's there's probably some dirty wood in there. That's all. Yeah, but I get like it. There's a lot of barrel char in there. There's a lot of smoke I'm picking up. I'm getting, and again, I'm not as good as you are. I'm getting slight hints of smoke. I'm not sure if I would have got them had you not placed it there. When you place barbecue, I'm not getting typical barbecue. I'm getting like almost a hint of a sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Yeah, like, yeah, sweet, sweet barbecue smoke. Yeah, I get that. I get a lot of peanut brittle too. Yeah, there's peanut there too. What the hell? I already tasted it. Uh, like it's like I threw a bunch of peanut shells in my mouth. Yeah, not much going on in that one. I feel like we've had this one before, and we're bad like that. We can't ever like recall what it was like. I'm just really remembering that kind of smooth. Uh, it's not listless, and it, it's you know it's decent proof, but there's nothing at the first taste that's really yeah. There's nothing standing out about that. Yeah. It's going down easy though. I gotta say, oh, really? yeah, it's it's crushable for sure, but it's just it's not very complex. Um, it's good if you like peanuts. If you like those peanut notes, I think it's good. Yeah. Everyone loves and, peanuts. And Will would put a nutty one out on D for sure. <laughs> yeah. He's got he's got the D's nuts. <laughs> Will, you're so gross. Yeah, you're always pushing nuts on people. Will is always pushing his nuts on people. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lance just said he just, yeah, I kind of like that. It's crushable. I kind of mm -hmm. like that, Lance. 
I, I don't agree. know if that's my term, but it but it is. No, it is. It's um, crushable is a much better word than smooth because smooth gets bastardized. But it's it's smooth. You can sip it without really thinking about it or like really even having to appreciate it. But it's also not going to distract you from whatever you're doing. This is a yeah. great one when like it's your wife puts on a show you don't want to watch. And you I know, but all, I know, but all I want to eat now is freaking refried beans and brisket. <laughs> Oh, here it comes the beans. Yeah, it's a, it's a good a good football whiskey. No yes. one thinks about it. Just want to drink. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I'm really I, I I'm curious as to what that is. I really like the smoke note on that. It's really it's interesting. I'd be surprised if it's very expensive. It doesn't taste like it's. I bet that's an easy one to find, but I could be wrong. All right, I'm going to the last one here, which is the let's see here. <laughs> You enjoyed it. You're enjoying your beans, Kira. Yeah, I'm just like waiting. So, David and Kira, I'm curious. How did so, David and Kira? How did you guys meet? <laughs> Good question. Was it a was it a was it a meet cute? How did it happen? Did you swipe left? How did it happen? No. Go ahead. Good old fashioned workplace. This one was my boss. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow. Okay. Nice. <laughs> oh man. Kind of new to this bourbon thing. Appreciate your channel helping me out so far. Clearly became a big turkey fan. Absolutely, Jonathan. Oh, by the way, uh, speaking of turkey, have an amazing announcement coming soon about uh, a wall, a, a live stream going to be doing with, um, I mean, I think it's like 90% there with uh, Bo Garrett, uh, who is a wild turkey, uh, wild turkey uh, tour guide and also a, a musician. So, um, details coming soon, but if you are any of you are turkey fans, I got something really cool in the works that's coming up uh, soon. So just a little little bit of a teaser there. I think my probably my most anticipated release of this year is that Masters Keep Toasted Barrel from Wild Turkey. Um, I don't know if I'm excited about that one yet. I've just I never. No? Seen to, I'm not. I'm excited because it's a turkey, but toasted. I don't know. I feel like toasted barrels. There's like the new fucking skinny jeans now. Everyone's everyone's got to have them. Yeah. Have you? I just did a review on the Lucky Seven. Uh, have you had that? No, I haven't had that one yet. I'll have to send you a sample. It's it's really well done. I think. All so right. We're so back. So back to David and Kira. David was the boss. Kira walked into the office, and David was like, "Oh yeah." Nope. Other way around. Oh, other way around. Kira was the boss. Where are your TPS reports? <laughs> he was the boss. And I was like, that one's mine. <laughs> nice. Like, it ha I don't understand. I, had a full hey, head. Kira, I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> I had a full head of hair back then. So it was different. Matthew You're McConaughey really is going to be a special guest. <laughs> he might. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, yeah, everybody loves David. I don't understand why. So I had to take that off the market just to ruin everyone else's lives. It's true. And now he's ruining my life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, mean, I, I could see, you know, David's got, you know, he's he's got a really good personality. You know, he's, you know, he, look, he looks like he's a tall guy and, you know, funny yeah. and. Unbutton a couple buttons and you've got it, man. You know, <laughs> so what's also funny. Is I'm, sure he, I'm sure he takes that blow up doll out just to show everybody. <laughs> not I do. Well, I, I used to before blow up dolls. I used Japanese body pillows, but that's neither here nor there. So what? What's funny though is when Kira and I first started dating, she actually thought <laughs> I do. It's also a quote from one of our videos. Um, <laughs> I, I, what's funny is Kira and I had dated for a couple of months before she realized that I was actually ten years younger than she thought I was. We started dating when I was 35 and she was 27. She actually thought I was 45 and mm -hmm. she was 27. And she had no problem with that whatsoever. Yeah, that's fine with me. All right. And you know then what, I my was my younger and I was like, whoa, well, that sucks. <laughs> but I guess my I favorite, was My favorite thing as a dad of two daughters is knowing your daughter brought you food and those two blow up dolls are in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. how I know you guys are amazing. <laughs> Our daughter is absolutely super duper cool. Yeah. She is. Hey, JG's in the house. Need to put my name in the hat. 877 MASH now. Nice. Boom. 
All right, we're going to a uh, number E. Number E. Let's do it. Which is super right, unlikely. Okay. So I thought it smelled like a grapey cherry with a little yeah. bit of vanilla and banana in it. Like hey, that's Kira. Note, Kira. Kira, you pretty much nailed every, you definitely nailed the banana note that I got. Yeah. yeah. Dude, $500 to me. Just give it over. <laughs> $500 super chat. Uh, but what are we going to do about hot pottery Rose's nipple? Just spit. <laughs> he's again every time he's it. he's got one and traditionally he doesn't use it that often it's fine he just he just let come here wife yeah banana and definitely get a little bit of the cherry it's a lot fruitier than i was getting on the palate than uh than on the nose yeah it's pretty fruity i'm not i'm not really a fan i don't think but it's all right yeah again i think it's a lower proof i don't think there's anything real special about it Mm -hmm. That's so sad that you say those things. Because Do you love it? About everything. Well, Lance, I love not everything. Some things. <laughs> like bacon. I'm sure, I'm sure if you had, I'm sure if you had a, if you had a refried bean blind tasting, you'd have some opinions. <laughs> I, think, I think David was actually talking about me because I was like, these are the best beans ever, and he's like, I'm gonna get you some like Walmart beans. Some minor, like, I'm like, no. We're going to set it up. Do that. Yeah, blind tasting of refried yeah, beans. Blind oh, taste refried beans. I wanted to pick the Walmart beans over the fancy beans. <laughs> You'll be able to. It's weird. <sighs> I love beans. <laughs> <laughs> so I've tried two. Already. Yeah, wait. I don't believe this is 1792. 1792? No, hell no. No, no. way. That's not, there's no spice to it at all. No. And 1792 comes in like a spicy meatball. So, mm. yeah, this is pretty fruity. Uh, Freedom wants to know tell us, Dave, how you got that ball spot on your head, headboard. <laughs> what? <laughs> First of all, First of all I, I, love, I love Freedom. Freedom is an amazing, amazing man. And second of all, cheers, I can't. cheers, R. Morris. Thank you so much, man. I can't neither confirm nor deny freedom. <laughs> All the ladies. And then, and then the headboard actually has a little patch of hair stuck to it. <laughs> <laughs> it says, Stop it, ladies. This is mine. Uh, it's, it's weird because it's true. I don't want I, any of you to be happy. Yeah. Not even him. Like men are all about looks and women are all about personality. I mean... If you were to judge my personality as a look, I'm a six foot eight multimillionaire millionaire NBA basketball player. <laughs> <laughs> Women just falling left and right. You're the Hakeem Olajuwon of whiskey too. <laughs> <laughs> In the dream. There you go. For real, people love him. I don't understand. I, I don't like it either. It's annoying. Oh my God. Like you're married. Go. You're married. Go. You may be on the side, but go. <laughs> I haven't, I can't say I've been married yet. <sighs> You you are a catch, buddy. Dude, you're a catch. I would marry you in a heartbeat if Me you were too. if you were into it. So is there is there like a, a story behind you not being married? Is it like simply <laughs> waiting for true romance or like long relationship yeah. work out? We're getting it deep. Like, it was like my so I was I was engaged uh when I was in like my early twenties and that and that that ended in, in horror. Uh, <laughs> and then I just <laughs> Then I just dated for like eight, nine years and had some fun. And then when I got back into dating, I kind of forgot how to date. <laughs> Cause and then, and then like everything changed and everything was like apps and all this shit. I'm like, what is happening? Uh, you uh, motorboating some bitch. Yeah. But, but <laughs> luckily, luckily now I have an amazing, uh, amazing girl that I'm with now. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm a happy guy right now. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. When you get married, you can, have her go poop on the toilet and hang out while you're brushing your teeth and talk about your morning plans. It's great. No, we don't do that. <laughs> yeah. you do it all the time. I'm like, David, come here. I'm going to show you. And then I trick him. And he's like, you're pooping. I'm like, I know. Hang it out. Hang it out. <laughs> Gary, you, you, OD, you ODPP? <laughs> you My wife me. ODPPs. <laughs> Close the door. <laughs> Oh, I mean, judging from the FEO train comment segment, I can only imagine why exactly. <laughs> the Master Germ, what's the P whiskey behind you? That's actually Penelope, Penelope Bourbon. Is that the cash strength? 
Yeah, this is the uh, this is their latest barrel strength batch, and I'm going to be reviewing real soon. So it's a uh, it's a younger whiskey, but again, it's one of those specialty blends. It's really good stuff. I actually enjoy that one. Um, Jason Fitch says I'm celebrating the Big Four O next month. Any suggestions from you guys to try? I'm holding on to an OC batch five thoughts and Wild Turkey thirteen, dude. Just crack both of those open. Holy shit, you're you're set. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or Fireball. Yeah, that was my one and two whiskeys of twenty uh, of twenty twenty. So you, you got something good there, man. And these are our one and twos right here. Got to be in it to win it. Fireball and and Paps Blue Ribbon whiskey one and two. On ice. Daniel yeah. said, uh, uh, "I'm turning into the third shelf turd before our eyes." I I'm pretty restrained on my channel. <laughs> yeah. Bring out the fun in me. Yes, you can totally be a turd. Everybody mm -hmm. can be a turd. We'll put you right here. And then every time I share a muffin, it'll actually be you. And you'll be like, no. Everyone's everyone's got a little turn in them. Yeah. <laughs> True. True. There. There's a slogan, slogan and idea. And it's going to come out eventually. <laughs> Next shirt. Oh, hopefully daily. <laughs> uh, Daniel Kerber says, see, at this point, Kieran and David have distracted you enough that you forgot you're even doing a blind flight. This is true. Oh yeah, what are we doing? I'm uh, I look back at my notes to see what the hell I wrote down, so we'll see how it goes. We're on the Venga bus, you guys. Yeah, the Venga bus is coming. <laughs> oh God, please! I used to I DJed back in the day, and that song haunted my dreams. <laughs> you should sing it so that Jason can remember it fully. Go ahead. I got something to tell you. Not the not the do the, 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 the Venga bus is coming. No, if he's a DJ, he knows that part. And he does look at him. He's like, I'm not saying shit. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not singing that shit. <laughs> that, that, that whole record was a shelf turd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the video was great, though. Oh, but, everybody, but everybody wanted to everybody wanted to hear it. It got so many damn requests. Heck yeah. Oh, my God. Do you have the Vanga Ba song? Please, <laughs> can you play it? Please play it. Can you play it? Play it. <laughs> <laughs> like me at the wedding <laughs> exactly. <laughs> were, the, were, the, were the requesters also dangerously close to your body when they were requesting it where they're like do you have that song that starts we like to party on. <laughs> the best the, the funniest request I ever got was this girl that was obviously very drunk it was a prom I was DJing and this girl obviously snuck in some alcohol and she got like she didn't like most people just come up to the DJ booth and request the song. Mm -hmm. This girl came behind the DJ. She's like, fuck that. I'm going behind the DJ booth. <laughs> she went behind the DJ booth and I'm literally like fumbling through records. And I turn around like with a record and she's right there. And mm -hmm. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, what? She's like, can you play Careless Whisper by Wham? <laughs> <laughs> and she said, she said Wham in a way that I thought she was going to take a club out and hit me with it. <laughs> But she didn't like the way she said, like she had like with such force, like wham, like she was gonna like hit me. She um, wanted to mash the drum. <laughs> she, yeah, she, she said that her, her boyfriend loved that song, but she didn't, he was too embarrassed to come up and, and request it. So so yeah, so I, I played it. And then uh she was then and then the funny thing is, is I play the damn record and then I don't even see her on the dance floor with a boyfriend. I think she went and like threw up somewhere. Probably. <laughs> That song was actually, um, we played that at our wedding. We did, actually. We danced to that one. Have you guys ever seen uh, Sexy Sax Man? <laughs> because of that. Hey, have you ever seen the video Sexy Sax Man? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he just, for anybody in the chat that doesn't know, it's this college guy that goes in with his shirt off, nothing but suspenders and pants on, and he walks into, like, stores and walks into, like, active lectures oh, at a oh. college and plays the, the saxophone part on a saxophone from Careless Whisper. And it's hilarious. Yep. Our family was very confused why we were dancing to that. They're like, a yeah. weird song to dance to at your wedding? What's up, Spirits and More? Thanks for coming in. Uh, Jason doing that drunk girl impression was my favorite Jason. <laughs> hey, with, with, with all the instruments we all three of us play, we could have a kick-ass wedding band. If anyone's getting married out there, once it, once the wedding band. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So, I mean, growing up in Long Island, I mean, we had like the best like Valley Girls ever. Just so, I, many, yeah, yeah, so I, many, I, I, so yeah. many memories of. And then I go, I had to like grow up on Long Island, and uh, I'm gonna like go to 
I'm all. And then I'm going to go to Wet Seal and buy some $24 dresses. <laughs> Oh. That shit was gross. What, 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 <laughs> they had really crappy clothes for super cheap, like you were saying. Oh, geez, I, think, I, think the fireball, I think the fireball's getting to me. Oh my god! I'm, I'm ashamed to admit I played quite a uh, quite a few Kenny G songs at weddings uh, growing up. Yeah, you're showing your age, fumbling through records. That's right, John, because that's how real DJs do it. Now these freaking assholes with their freaking stuck up hairstyles. <laughs> and uh, their skinny jeans, they don't do shit. They just pop a CD in and they let the computer do it. Those guys don't, they, that's fucked up. Come on. <laughs> that's not That's not DJing. You sit there with a whistle and a glow stick and you do oh. this. And you do this the whole time. And you don't even do nothing. You let the computer do it the whole time. That's not DJing. Yeah. No, wait. Are you okay. guys hearing like his straight up Jersey accent when he gets mad? I just, love it. Yeah. That's what he yeah, comes out. Yeah, or wait, Polly Shore from okay, I don't my, know. Wife, my wife said David looks like Jeff Goldblum crossed with Stephen Colbert. <laughs> I'll take nice. it. I could see that. Dude, I love Jeff Goldblum. Mm. Actually, a lot of people say without my glasses, I look like Elon Musk. So don't take him off. <laughs> with, with a little bit of the wiggle sprinkled in. <laughs> Urban, <laughs> we're, we're in the South Shore. Did you meet that valley? Bayshore. Bayshore. Mm. Hank Butts, would you play the electric slide one more time, please? Oh, God. Don't even get me started on the electric slide. <laughs> Jason needs to do a whiskey review with the Valley Girl accent. <laughs> let, me, let me go back through. Let me go back through. One of these cups, one of yeah. these glasses has got to be Valley Girl. Yeah, well, I'm then fair. what can Lance do? What can you do, Lance? Hey, what accents can you do, Lance? Uh, <laughs> I, I've got nothing, man. I don't know if I have an accent. Do I have an accent? No, you don't because you're from Ohio and we're from Michigan. We don't have accents. Well, we I'm from Illinois. But Steven, hold, oh, holy shit. $50 super chat. I needed the laughs tonight. Y'all are awesome. Thanks for hanging out, Steven. Pre Cheers, uh, buddy. Appreciate that, man. Cheers. You're not from Ohio, Lance. Where are you from? Illinois. Oh, that's the same thing. It's close yeah. enough. Yeah, same, same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Then I lived in Texas for a little bit. Long story. Hey, Bourbon is actually in Bayshore. Yep. For Michigan, everything below our, our base is Ohio. Just all yeah. of it. Hey, gotcha. Yeah. That's so right, you T Hutch. Fuck your glow stick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, Dan and Julie. Dan and Julie like. I don't think I said hi to you guys tonight. Um, hey, Dan and Julie, what's up? The double Dutch BUS the, at the Magic Drum. That's Dan right. They are our best friends. They're not your best friends. You don't talk to them. Only we can talk to them. Oh, you're 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 claiming the likes now. I claim the likes, and I claim Corey. I think the I think the likes are universally claimed by all the channels. Yep. Nope. Only Kira. Nope. Not even me. I don't even get it. Just Kira. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Cleveland, the mistake by the lake. Here we go. <laughs> I thought Cleveland rocks. Yeah, I thought Cleveland rocks too. There's a basketball game there. Oh wait, wait. Jason's back to concentrating, so we gotta yeah, go. You got <laughs> You got, yeah, I'm, while you guys are distracted, I'm getting my points in. <laughs> I already wrote my points down. Wait, I did? And I won. Yeah, because you guys were talking so much, and I was getting super bored, so I just started writing stuff down. All right. What did you write well, down? What did, what, did you write down? what did you write down for number A? I said number A. I got to find it. All right, here we go. I said it smelled like sweet ketchup. Or no, it tasted like sweet ketchup. <laughs> And I think it's 102 proof. Is that a proof? Yes, it's definitely a proof. Okay. Yeah. 102 on letter A? You have to guess proof because. Yes. We do have to guess proof. Wait, I did leave Texas, but that was in like third grade. My parents had nothing to do with me. Love Texas. Whiskey Wiggle says, I can see the future. Kira will guess 90 proof for everyone. <laughs> who, are, who are you? And it's why true. are you saying that? Because you always guess 90 proof. I know, but I don't know who you are. 80, you ADHD are. whiskey. ADHD, see, if anyone could claim the likes, it's definitely ADHD whiskey. That's true. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to go to their house soon, too. You are? Yeah, I will. Oh. Yeah? You're going to knock at the door with with some beans? Here, guys. Yeah, I am. And they're going to freaking love it. I'll, you give you bean, I'll give you beans if you give me some of your whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> I will get open arms. 
because they're so beautiful. Aren't you're gonna, they? You're gonna, you're gonna have a, you're gonna have a boombox playing Journey, open arms as you walk in. I will. But you know, honestly, if any one of us showed up to their house, they would let us hang out. So sorry, Matt. You're cool. <laughs> Settle down, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Matt. Matt from Whiskey Crusaders in the house. What's up, man? What's up, Matt? Hey. Hey, other Matt. And we also got hanging with the hawk. No, oh, bro. Scotty, too hotty. Hey, Scotty, are you uh, deplenishing any electrolytes tonight? <laughs> Just for you guys uh, haven't gotten the image out of your head. There he is. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Come That's hang the with the hawk. I didn't think fuck your train could be outdone, but that night it was. <laughs> Don't fuck with my train. <laughs> <It's> amazing. <laughs> Uh, quick, uh, from Dan L. Julian, I love Kira even more today. Oh, shit. Oh, Thank you so much, Dan. That, that means we're going to see some Kira with, I want, I want a photo on Instagram or Patreon of Kira at the door of the likes with refried beans in the hand. <laughs> that would be the best thing ever. <laughs> Send him a pallet. <laughs> yeah, Jason is both distracted and hungry for barbecue. Yeah, I'm going to be starving after this damn thing. Wait, wait, you didn't finish that that quote. It said another shot of fireball. Did you see that? Oh, uh, does that mean another shot of fireball? Yeah. Oh, yep. Okay, here we go. Another one. Come and on, Jason. Lance, you gotta take this shot of your TC. Yeah, yeah where's your right. three bats with team turds? Here we go, fireball. I'll All go right. I'll go as long as you do, Jason. Let's do it. And ADH, also- wait, ADH said if y'all showed up at my mother-in-law's house, I'd let you hang too. Okay. <laughs> He'll hide us in the basement because he'll be like, "Don't let her know you're here." All right, here we go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go for Cheers, a, little, a little bit here. Yeah, let's do it. I think our boss is coming. Everybody's <laughs> oh. Yes, that's an A plus joke, Kira. I love how you brought it all the way back. <laughs> We're almost gone, buddy. This bottle head was like half full when this thing started. How you oh, doing? Oh my god. Why is that? Why is that getting so smooth to drink? <laughs> yes, it's the bang book. That fireball is crushable. Ruining yet another channel. <laughs> that fireball is crushable. Plan, Pinky. <laughs> All right, I need I need some water. We'll take fireball. I need some water mm. too. It's a P- PPR. Water. I need some water too. What's that lasagna you might have made? Oh, now your Italian's coming out. No, that was I am. Oh, your Jersey. Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore. Kira, are you uh, are you from the Jersey Shore? No, are you? Do I look like it? <laughs> Actually, I don't know. No one knows what I look like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the melting pot of America. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is what everyone's gonna end up looking like someday. <laughs> <laughs> Kira is very far down the evolution path than all of the rest of us. <laughs> Eventually, everyone will be Kira. Yes. <laughs> well, for real, my mother was Irish German. Mm-hmm. My, or actually, and some Native American. I don't know how that happened. Sure. And then my dad is full blood like Mexican. In oh, yeah, we're taking over. Sure. This is you. Have you seen South Park where everyone is me? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. But did you guys hear the key notes in there? Irish and Mexican. Now, do you guys want to guess what, what Collins the last name is? Irish. So now you know what the problem is over here. We have a long <laughs> ancestry of being able to really drink. That's why our daughter's okay with the blow up doll over here. She's like, Yeah, that's typical. <laughs> oh my god. You gotta keep an eye on your daughter now. She's gonna be that's it. <laughs> Between the, between, the tequila, between the tequila and the Irish whiskey, what's going to happen? She's like super mature, like more than us. Yes. She wakes up earlier <laughs> than us. She yeah, like, she's, literally, she's, she's literally like baking treats upstairs and bringing them down. Yeah. There she is, mini turd. Hi. No, mini turd. I, I really find immature parents make very mature children. Nope. There we go. They look at their parents and go, I'm not going to be that. <laughs> <laughs> I that speak from experience. Thank you. Thanks for our treats. Thank you, sweetie. I came out the perfect time. You did come oh, at the perfect time. Shoot, I just dropped one. She's been instructed just to come at random times with random foods. So she's doing Man, pretty well. My football. kids haven't brought me shit. What the hell? Alexis. <laughs> <laughs> Rasher, uh, hey, easy on the Jersey Shore. My Nana's house is two blocks away from that POS, and all those people were from Long Island. Yeah, it's true. It's true. You get a lot of, a lot of the people from Long Island go to the Jersey Shore because they – I don't know if they want to be from Jersey, or they think it's cool. Well, the people who make jokes on other people, 
They're on True TV. Mm. Uh, and Practical Jokers. They're from we're from right here, over there, and they're, they're cool. From, uh, they're from Staten Island. They are Look at Staten. you guys finish each other's sentences. So yeah, cute. we're so cute, aren't we? <laughs> I'm like, give me a good bonus. Give me a bonus. <laughs> give me a good, <laughs> give me a good bonus. <laughs> it was a lost joke. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right, so I'm still working my way back through. Jason, I'm feeling very intimidated by you because there are times where we're being zany and you check out with that serious face and you're going yeah, back he's, through. Yeah, he's serious about this. I haven't been very serious about it. Me neither, because Lance, we're, you're a turd with me. <laughs> <laughs> you are a turd with us tonight, Lance. It's okay to lose, buddy. It's okay to lose. <laughs> Lance is on the bus. Vega bus. Lance is on the Vega turd bus. <laughs> that dude, she 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 almost killed me when I was swinging that fireball and saying the Vanga bus. <laughs> All right, mm, I'm guessing. I'm I'm guess, okay, I think I'm gonna get my guesses here. Like, I'm notoriously bad at doing this, so give me another minute to get drunk, and then I'll I'll be there. What I'm the hell was that freaking smoky one? That one's throwing me off. That's, one, that's one of what is now a missing king. What the hell does that mean? Hmm. A missing king. Ah, that one's that out of all the clues, that one is the one throwing me off the the must the the most. Um Nate Gordon, fireball waterfall for the win. The message of who's winning this blind. I have no idea. Uh black haired woman are a force to be reckoned with. My girlfriend is a force, and I wouldn't have it any other way. There you go. There you go. Boom. All right, so I'm I'm almost there. I don't want to rush it, though. I like the process. I like the fireball. I like the drinking. So, so um, Lance. What's up? Tell us a joke. I'm ready. <laughs> hey, we got uh, Alec. Uh, we got AB Cigars Alex in the house. What's up, man? Thanks for dropping in. Thanks for dropping in, Alec. I am definitely lighting up a cigar after this blind. <laughs> hey will text me real fast and tell me one of these <laughs> karen b ford says king of kentucky no none of these are king of kentucky <laughs> i can tell you no. that much. okay i'm down to i need two more i need to place my last two clues and then i feel like i'm drunk enough to almost win all right i just <laughs> guess let's go all right oh this is number three Hold on. Mm, we like to party. We like to, we we like like to party. party. Sugar Kitty, are you in skinny jeans because of the things that they said about millennials or something like that? Did you know what I'm talking about? Where we have like, was it like the hair that's part on the side and skinny jeans? Seven R's did include the warning. I checked. 75 R's. Oh, this <laughs> are you serious? Are you serious? He counted the warnings. I don't know. Sometimes sometimes I think Will is serious, but then he's not. He already said us it wasn't. Oh, come on. Mm. 75 R's. What the actual fuck? What in the yeah. world is that? Will, how? Come on. I'll give you things to do. I'll send you like crossword puzzles in the mail if you want. <laughs> <laughs> So I know that I'm going to lose terribly, but I do, in fact, have a proof guess for each, a clue guess for each. I have not added all of my total proofs yet, but we can always do that afterwards, right? Yeah. Well, that's that's the tiebreaker in case we tie. Yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't think there's going to be a tie. I'm pretty sure Jason's going to run away with this one. <laughs> You're right. While we were Vanga bussing, I saw him over there sniffing, tasting, noting. I mean, he was nutting all over the place. So I'm pretty sure he's got this one. The problem is, is like the um, the you know matching up matching up the the clues. Uh, I I think the proof I I could get, but I mean, aside from clue two, I have no idea what the the other uh, the other four could be. The orange swift one, which is a wine, you know, the wine. Uh, the wine, you know, owner that I'm looking for like a finish on one of these. Uh -huh. and none of the finishes are really jumping out here. Yeah. On number two, I think that's got to be Chattanooga. 
but I'm not sure. And then on number five, the waterfall on the bottom, I'm thinking it's Yellowstone. So uh, isn't Yellowstone Heaven Hill? I'm thinking like something with a peanut kind of profile, but I don't know. Yeah, I think I think the waterfall for Yellowstone, for my guess, was going to be uh, D because it was so damn nutty. Well, you can't tell that. What was no, the one? No, nobody knows anything. No, we're not sharing our final guesses until the end. What was the one that I tasted that I said had I was writing down notes, the one that had like a raisin to it. It was that one was, that, you that was share. that was three. Yeah, number C. Number C. Number C. C. Yeah. That's the one that I said tastes like a grape sucker. Yes, a grape sucker. But and I think I think that's Chattanooga. Chattanooga. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And, Kira, it tastes, it tastes Kira, a little crafty Kira, to me. Kira called out the banana on the E, and I can't get that out of my head now. That was that was brilliant, Kira. There must have been the refried beans clearing your palate. Yeah, it's like I can't usually get people out of my head either. Wait, opposite. Shit, I messed it up. <laughs> I meant. <laughs> Dang it. I'm not cool. <laughs> You're too cool. <laughs> too cool for school. Oh, you're going right, for your second right. PBR locale. Oh, yeah. I'm ready to, like, kill this bottle. <laughs> how did... Because I've already got all my How did this work its way into the shot? No. I don't know, but that's also in shot. I'm not even second-guessing myself because it's too hard. So. All right, guys. So, so in the chat, I'm going to read you guys the clues one more time. Here we go, okay? Clue number one, brand owned by Oren Swift. I already, I already called out that... That is a winemaker, and he does make he does have like the burning chair, and some of the other like wine finished, um, like whip saw, and some of those are all from the Orange Swift portfolio. You have number two. The clue was experimental barrel number seventy seven, which to me sounds like Chattanooga. Yeah. Uh, number three was seventy five R's on the label, and as we just learned from Will Henderson, that included the Surgeon General warning on the back of the bottle. <laughs> Um, number four, which is really kind of throwing me for a loop, was batch one of what is now a missing king. Uh, okay. And number five was waterfall on the bottle. So those are the five clues that we're trying to match with these samples tonight. I, I'm locking in my answers. I'm done. I'm working on it. Mine are locked in and Will knows I know zero of these. That's why he did it. Because the world revolves around me, and I know that's what he was thinking about. Okay, all right. I'm I'm good and I'm good and uh, lubed up, so I'm I'm locked into. I'm right. just joking, right. guys. The world doesn't revolve around me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> David's world better revolve around me, though. It doesn't. Oh. I'm switching back to my my PBR and PBR and a Glen Karen. I can't do it. All right, so I'm that's that one. That's that one. That's. Okay, so I'm gonna I gotta, I gotta match up my clues here. Hamhawk claims he knows what everyone is. Yeah, he, yeah. Scott has the key. He actually knows. Oh, he does. Okay. Yeah, he he hey, actually Scott. knows. Hey Scott, do you know what this is? Oh <laughs> does anybody know when we went a, we we did a live blind with Scott and uh you don't know what that is, bro. He got beat by somebody. <laughs> oh, 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 oh shit. <laughs> Oh man! Come at me, bro. Catch me outside, bro. And put me inside because I'm not gonna go outside. <laughs> it's too fucking cold. <laughs> oh man, it's cold in the Midwest. So that's clue five. So now I just need, I need clue two and one here to. Oh no, I have this one. Is okay. I got that one. Um, this one is. I'm thinking number five. Clue number five. That's clue number two. So I need one and three. Brand owned by Orange Swift, and then the 75 R's in the label. No fucking clue. That could be literally anything. Yeah. Will outdid himself. Or he didn't, and he, we're just idiots. <laughs> I, I'm going to go with... Um, all right. Fair, I'm, fair, I'm, fair I'm, enough. I'm saying that one is that, and I'm going to say it's like... it's That's a... That is not a high proof at all. That thing sucks. <laughs> I assume you're talking... To, are you talking about E or... I'm what talking about mean? number one or oh, no. letter A, number A. You can't second get yourselves. 
first conceptions are the, the greatest. So, Jason, this is what I'm worried about, buddy. Because coming back to number A mm -hmm. does not seem like a high proof at all. Mm -hmm. First time through, I thought it was one-on-one. -on -one. So I'm I'm a little scared that we're all a little warm right now. Yeah, that definitely plays into it because once your palate starts getting used to stuff, the only thing you start you could pick out is something a high proof, yeah, uh, like, a, like a really high proof because everything just starts kind of melding together. Mm -hmm. The Which fireball does that to you. So just a little FYI, <laughs> you and I, you and I fireball chugged. I'm just gonna give you a friendly warning, a little bro warning, a little brotherly love. Be careful. Yeah, and this and this damn D still smells like barbecue. Oh, barbecue. Wait a minute. Oh. So the D is. Hold on. I'm that. No hold, more. Hold no more. Brain. Give me the clues real quick. Give me the clues. Hold I'm on. I'm just gonna chug this can of fireball. You would. Or. All right. PBR. So to me, to me that means if D is okay. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm doing, but I'm changing two of my clue guesses right now. I'm, I'm flip flopping. Okay. I'm going to go on the Banga bus. The Banga bus is coming. I'm a Barbie girl. In a Barbie world. Oh, God, not the Barbie song. Jesus. I like the plastic. Hey, bo hey Bobby. You can touch my hair. And dress me anywhere. Imagination. <laughs> Life is your creation. Come on, Barbie. Let's go, party. I'm a Barbie girl. <laughs> you got it. Jason Solo, go. I just want to sing about Bobby all day. <laughs> Power Man 5000. Oh, crap. I used to actually love that band. Oh, yeah. Power Man 5000. I did. Power Man 5000, Marilyn Manson. <laughs> Who else? Because right now I can't even think. But I was very goth when I was in high school. Just an FYI in case you all wanted to know because... All of you love me, right? And because we were that's all in high school 15 years before you were. So that's okay. <laughs> that's right. I, not. I was in high school the same time as you were. I just failed every time. Wait, no, you failed. Never mind. Just forget it. Tim Evans is talking about Train. Train is actually one of my favorite um, bands. Yeah, Train is actually <clears throat> one of Cura's favorite bands current day. Because <laughs> I am a goth um, moved to like a normal person. All right. We have our guesses. <laughs> Did you like us filling in that yeah. silence for you? I did. I, did. I appreciate that because I was in the zone. Wonderful. Because I was talking crap about myself. <laughs> Kira, I love when you, Kira, I love when you talk crap. When you go off the rails on a review, that's my favorite time of day. The best. <laughs> Before we do the reveal, we've already revealed a regular PBR, a PBR low. <laughs> we want to reveal now um, PBR extra. This is 6.5%. They all knew PBR, mm -hmm. especially formulated for shelf charts. Yeah, they realized we were promoting them so much and everyone started buying them up. So they had to make different kind of a steps or PBR extra. Is that literally, can you see it? I don't know if you can see it or not. No, I can see it. An extra is like what? The extra what, like 1%? It, what makes it extra? 6.5%. Oh, it's got extra alcohol in it. <laughs> It's got extra he he uh, he headache tomorrow. Extra hangover. <laughs> I have extra. Oh yeah, I have extra heartburn tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> oh man, well, that's, that's that's bad. All right, that's good. I mean, in case PBR is watching, it's really good. Sponsor us. Something about the world's crashing. Sorry, Power Man. I have no idea. Come back. All right. <laughs> do you guys? Do you guys have a key? We do. Nope. Here's gonna open it. Yes. All right, we're gonna open the key. Oh my god. Oh my god. Who says that normally? Fonzie, I think, right? Oh my god. No, it's someone cooler than that. All right, so what we got? I'm scared. I'm really scared. Okay. Oh my lords. I said this. And you, you all did say that. this. What? what? I'm not thinking. What happened? So Kira has A as Redwood Empire American Whiskey Batch 01. The clue is Batch 01 of what is now a missing king, Lost Monarch. Proof is 90. Oh. Uh, I said 100 proof. 100? Yeah. Me too. I wrote, I, wrote, I wrote 90 on the dot. 90. Oh. 
I had 102 because I kept pushing my proofs up, thinking uh, I needed to push them up. Man, I, I, I fucked that up big time. All right, hold on. What did, got, what, did you guys write, what did you guys write for the proof on that one? I had 101. I 101? Okay, yeah. I, I wrote 90. Uh, okay, so I got the proof on that. I get a point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I love how when we say we get something else, you're like, you did what? <laughs> I didn't get it. I got it. I didn't get, get, <laughs> I mean, I didn't get the clue either. Actually, Kira, Kira called out Redwood Empire. That's pretty it amazing. Did. Nailed it. Yeah, yeah, I'm way better than you guys, but I don't write it down because you I'm are. Not. You are better. You are, I told you, girls' nose and flavor profiles—they rock. But do you have Carla Swisper? <laughs> do you have Carla Swisper by Wham? <laughs> <laughs> and then we gotta get Lance coming in. <laughs> Ew, you guys got number did, did, right. did any of you guys match the right clue to that one? No. 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 Okay, I didn't either. So I'm I got the point for the that was it. I got the point for the for the proof. That was it. All right, let's go to number all you have a point. Let's go to letter B. Okay. What we got, Kira? All right. I, said, I said 115 proof. It's 109, and this one is Yellowstone, and it has a waterfall on the bottle. Okay, so guys, no, no joke. I wrote proof 110. Oh, I wrote, nice. I wrote one. I wrote 100 even. You wrote 110. 110. Oh, so you get you get the point for that, buddy. You get the point. You get the point. Anyone get the clue? No. Uh, nope. Okay. Nope. Did not get the clue. All right, let's go to C. Lance, you read C. Ah, oh, I knew it. Come on, Lance. C, I had 120 proof. It is 128.4. Jason, what do you have? I wrote 125. 129. Oh. 129, buddy. Oh. Did you match up the, uh, the clue experimental barrel 77? I had clue number one. What is that? No, I didn't. Oh, I had clue number two. I, I matched the clue. Yeah, so I I matched the clue, so we get the point for that. Okay. Ooh. And you and you get the point for the for the proof there because you're a little bit closer. Yes. Okay. Nice job. Two points. Nice job. Yeah, but that was yeah that was that honey nut Cheerio raisin crazy shit. Yeah, that that mm. did taste like Chattanooga. Yeah, that was Chattanooga. All right. Who's doing clue number whatever? Uh, D. So D was uh, Savage and Cook, the burning chair. There it is. There it is. So finished in 20% cab, 80% zin. Uh, the proof was 113. So D, I wrote one. I, I wrote 107. I only have I had 110 for the proof on that. So what was the actual proof? 113. 113. I had 92. All I right. was way off. So Lance wins. Lance gets I, I got the clue on that one. I, okay. guess, I guess that smokiness had to be from a fucking wine, weird wine cask. Oh, it nice. Because it smelled like barbecue, so I got that clue. I, did anyone else match it up to the Orange Swift? No. Uh, no. Did I, you I did. Kira I did. did. Nice, Kira. Nice, so I get it's the. Because I was just guessing. I'll take that point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared, guys. I'm so scared. All right, last. All right, last one. Yeah, oh, I gotta read it. Okay. Oh man, I I know I didn't do very well. Um, the last one is Russell's Reserve Single Barrel Rye. The clue is 75 R's on the bottle, which is what I had, and then I changed it. Oh no. Proof. I kept it. I, that was the that was my one guess. I had no idea. I I put I wrote letter E seventy five R's and I put a hundred proof. Uh, proof is one oh four, which means I didn't get it. So I had a hundred, I had a hundred proof also on that one. Did did you mm -hmm. guess the uh, did you guess the the clue? I didn't guess the clue. No, nope. that was that was a complete guess. I just guessed seventy. I don't know. I didn't know what where to put that one. I'll okay. I got the clue actually. Okay, so Kira got the clue, and then Jason, what'd you have? I had a hundred proof. What did you guys guess for the proof on that one? Ninety, so I'm out. I wait, ninety what though? Just ninety zero. I had ninety two, so I was off. 
All right, so I guess I guess uh, Lance, you guessed the hundred proof on that too. Yeah, I had a hundred proof. Yep. So, so give yourself a point for that one. No, I do the. I'm doing the points. <laughs> You're doing okay. So you give the points out. Everybody. No points. So okay. David, David gets all the points then. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am not. I have two total points, which is two yeah. more than I thought I would get. Okay, so we have. So I have. So everyone, count up your points. And then hold them up on one hand. Okay. I I have my calculation. <laughs> I, uh, and then I'll tell you what your calculation is. So just stop figuring things out. All right. All right you, you, got, you, got three, you got three points. Okay. Kira has a point. I, I, who got David, three? Have, yeah. David, you have two. David has two. And then I put DD. I'm not sure why. I think that's you, Jason. <laughs> um, that's You got four. And, then oh, and I have 71. Kira's the winner! <laughs> <laughs> I have three. I have three. Oh, you have three. But you have three points? Yeah, so I tie with you, brah. I have three. What, but Jason beat us, didn't he? I got yeah, five. But, I got five points. Yeah, Jason killed us. But we have to do a tiebreaker. Let's, had, let's, just, let's just do the tiebreaker. Let's I have it. 540 for my tiebreaker. Oh, what, what is it? What'd you put? 540. 540? Yeah, I think that's what I added up. Uh, all right, so I did... Okay, that one. You don't get to tie. Stop it, Jason. Stop. But yeah, there's no tie. Jason beat us, but it's fun to do. Jason, no. Only you and me, Lance. David, oh. you're adding. <laughs> I'm not adding. Oh, between you want to know who the true second place is and the true third place is? Yes. Okay. Uh, Only Lance and Kira get to add. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So, so Lance and Kira, add up your proof points. You add our points while you and Jason do a fireball waterfall. So I only have a little bit of swill left, buddy, but I'll do it if you will. Do you see this? this I'll, I'll do it with you. All right. All right. I, I'm a little slow. I'm gonna smoke a serious cigar after this. I'm not even gonna feel this, baby. All right. Here we <laughs> do go. It. Cheers, buddy. All right, I got it. It's gone. What'd you get, I, Rockstar? I All right, Kira. What's your proof? What's your total? I only got 420. 420. 420. Did you, I think you missed a number. Did I? I sure you didn't miss a number, Kira. There's only four numbers there. She missed a whole yeah, proof. Yeah, you missed a number. Oh, oops, sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. She's also not very good. At that. Those refried beans. 522. 522. And Lance, what did you get? 540. And I think it was higher than me. The proof, the proof is 544.4. <gasps> I'm the loser. <laughs> That's okay. That's a you're, you're a winner in my book, Kira. Thank you. Kira, Kira I still think your original uh, count up of 71 points for you is still the winning. <laughs> Undefeated in live play, except for that whole Trev debacle. Kira. <laughs> all right, guys. So, so what? I, so what I want to do? This first of all, I want to thank Will Henderson for this fly because that was a lot of fun. That was great. Mm -hmm. uh, bravo to Will. Give him a give him a round of applause. I want you guys to grab a bottle that's in your collection that's near you that you haven't opened yet. Oh. Oh. I'll grab one. You stay here. I always open my Evan Williams. Grab some, grab something you haven't opened, and we're gonna we're gonna do uh, three quick live reviews for all three of us. Let's do it. You gotta give me a minute. Yep. Go get go get it. Give me a minute to. I'm about to go. I gotta, I gotta empty out this freaking <laughs> shitty. Pack. I'm gonna give Kira a choice between between bottles that we haven't opened. It. Don't guess yet. All right. You know what's really bad huh. is to put whiskey in your mouth and then have a piece of popcorn at the same time, and then the <laughs> whiskey just stays in your mouth when you chew the popcorn. Try it though. If you guys are want an experience, do it. Yes, and then everybody has to do their review in a in their own Valley Girl voice. Oh, I love it. <laughs> okay, so oh, you know what? No, we tried that one. All right. David, just pick one. Oh my gosh, you're okay, opening so everything. Here are the options that I'm giving Kira. <laughs> so pick on live television. All right. I love when Kira gets mad. Okay, so Kira gets to guess between these these four. Kira, you get to pick between 
Jack Daniels single barrel select, not barrel proof, just the regular single barrel selects. Okay. Uh, just a regular old Knob Creek rye, but with a new sexy bottle. You guys seen this bottle? Yeah, that's the new. That's the new uh, label. It's back. Uh, Michter straight rye unopened. Okay. And uh, Michter's American whiskey unopened. Oh, I'm going to Knob Creek, baby. You going Knob Creek rye? Knob Creek, yep. Okay. Right. I don't know if Clifton's up in here, but Kira, he and I Kira, are Kira likes Kira likes her rye, man. I do. I right. grabbed. Uh, what, do got, what do you got, Lance? I grabbed Smoke Wagon Uncut. Ooh. And this is the uh, 57.73. So this is before they started numbering the batches, which I've had a couple since they started numbering the batches. And I don't know that they're as good. But so I'm going to review this. I have not had this, uh, this Smoke Wagon at this point. Smoke? You haven't had Smoke Wagon? No, I've had Smoke Wagon, just not this this specific fruit. Oh, that that specific batch you haven't had? Yeah, I haven't had this batch. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I've I'm been waiting to open it, so I'm excited. I'm gonna I'm crack open. This. I, haven't, I haven't tried this one yet. This is the new Ezra Brooks ninety nine. Oh, nice. Jason, everyone's had that. Try something else. <laughs> Everyone's had the book 99. <laughs> this isn't your regular. This isn't your regular Ezra Brooks. I love how I get pity laughs. Like, oh, you're funny. <laughs> That's not pity laughs. That's not pity laughs. You're genuinely funny. I say the same thing. I think everyone hates me, so I just uh, don't. What? I'm not a nice person. She's not. That part's true. But she's also very funny. Listen, I, when it comes to watching your guys' channel, I just wait for whatever Kira is going to say. Me too. I just watch their channel and feel like I'm not worthy, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at Richie's, no. Richie Z's chanting your name. Look at that. Richie. Kira, yes. Richie Z. Oh, Richie Z. I love that guy. Yeah, He's such there. a nice Rich, Richie Z is, a, is an OG. He's in every, I mean, you talk about guys that have been in every chat for every whiskey tube, like forever. It's Richie Z. No, he's think, only been our chat. Okay, <laughs> you're, you're claiming Richie Z as well? Yeah, I'm claiming like almost everyone here. Okay, settle down, Kira. <laughs> you like that Dave Chappelle skit where he had the draft? <laughs> like, you guys remember that Dave Chappelle skit where he had the draft? It might be a little uh, tone deaf today. It yeah, might be. Yeah, Kira, yeah. Kira is basically, Kira is like watching the NFL draft, except there's no other teams that get to pick. <laughs> you, you can claim Dan and Julie, but settle down on Richie Z. <laughs> Young Pai Chang likes me too. Oh. I get him or her. I get they. You get oh, yeah, Zachary, Zachary Jones says, Shaw, Kira. I love it. You know what? Honestly, that's kind of funny because no one knew how to pronounce my name. They're like, Kira, what does that even mean? So I'd be like, it's Kira, like Shakira. And then people call me Shakira. And I was like, what, is, what do you mean nobody knew how to pronounce it? How else is there to pronounce your name? No, no. <laughs> people call me Kyra. Kyra. Kyra? Kyra? Yeah. Yeah. Nope, it's that's it. That, that, that's call me Kyra. Kyra. Yes. It's not Kyra. It's Kira. I All am right. an Asian All right, Lance, 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 you're up. What do you, what do you, how do you like in that smoke wagon? Uh, it smells fantastic. It smells like a lot of other MGPs. Am I cutting out? Are you guys okay? You're all right so far. Uh, real quick, okay. uh, everyone, once we wrap up these quick reviews, we're going to be giving away this Wild Turkey 13 Father and Son Special Edition. So if anyone hasn't gotten their Super Chats in, uh, do so now before we do the giveaway. Daniel Kerber, otherwise known as Kirby, uh, is going to be uh, keeping track of the name. So. Um, get your get your donations in just in case to uh, get a shot at it. Oh, real quick, real quick. Uh, Adriana Rodriguez has brought up a good point. What, Lance? Lance, where is your Valley Girl accent, buddy? We all agree that this. Yeah, loud. we all agree to do these reviews in a Valley Girl accent. So you must do oh, it. Just you. Is, no, he, oh, is he? Is he oh, from? No. Oh no, he's good. He's good. You guys hear me now? No, yeah. I can't hear you. All right, what's okay. uh, what do you get? Uh, what what do you get on the fucking nose? <laughs> <laughs> so I get some I get some sweet berries and some vanilla, a little bit of like hardwood. Mm. 
I, I love hard away. That's my favorite kind of wood is the hard kind. Oh my God. The little sawdusty and oh my God, it's fantastic. <laughs> Dude, Lane's is friggin' killing it. <laughs> I'm gonna go be his best friend right now. Do it, prove it. <laughs> Did you take out Snip Cat, bitch? Oh my god, don't don't even go there. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Settle down, you some bitch. <laughs> you what? Oh my god. <laughs> Uncle Buck, Uncle Buck can't breathe. <laughs> we should do this every day. We'll get more money, you guys. <laughs> oh, hot buttery rolls is going six to midnight. <laughs> <laughs> he totally should try to do that. Oh, this this just made my toes curl. Good lord, it's fantastic. You guys have to play with your hair too, right? Is that what they do? Yeah, do this. Yeah, they do that. Mm. Okay, Shelf Nerds, you're up next. What do you think of that Knob Creek? Uh, you, you, st <laughs> you start talking about the Knob again, and I swear to God, I'm going to tell your mother. Oh, my God. I went out with Knob last night. We went to the movie theater, and he just gave me a straight-up raisin net. He is such a slut. I saw him with Monica, and I swear to God. Oh, my God, Monica? Five fingers and a little bit of a shake wake. And <laughs> she's got right. Well, speaking of my gosh, she was with yard life right last night. Monica better not touch Brett. Oh my God, Brett was all over her with some grass. They were Sweet rolling Jesus. in the head. Brett has an erectile dysfunction. Well, that's he not what he told Monica. Monica's a little slut just because she's got triple C. <laughs> I think she's stuffing. She does. She's a bitch. <laughs> that she works at Claire. I hate Claire's. Oh, Claire's is for tramps. Oh my god, this is good. Jesus Christ, this is good, like vodka at all. <laughs> Why do you sound like someone from like American Family or whatever the fuck that? Shit? So <laughs> oh my loins, my uh, loins hurt. Oh, I have got. Thank God, I went first. <laughs> Are you are you okay to do before no, you? No, I have to run. Okay, we're gonna have to come back, you, Jason. You do whatever you want. I'll be back whenever. She's got to go sit to pee real quick. So <laughs> she's gonna go take a pink ball. Oh man! Uh, All right, bring I'm us gonna... home, Jason. Oh my god, I just got this Ezra 99 and I love it. It's just it smells like fucking gif. <laughs> I'm going to put this on like bread with some some jelly and just eat it with like some toast. <laughs> this smells like my boyfriend's balls. <laughs> I so love it. Like a really good way. Your boyfriend's bowls smell mm. amazing. It's My boyfriend's like peanuts, and I love it. All right, David, don't fucking bitch, David. <laughs> oh my god, it's so fucking good. I'm gonna take a sip now. Okay, just watch me, watch me sip, watch me sip. <laughs> you go, girl. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking pretty damn delicious. <laughs> it's like someone put skippy peanut chunk butter on my ass, and I love it. Oh my god. I would love to eat peanut butter out of your ass, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me at it. Just <laughs> let me oh. in. It. <laughs> oh my god. Ezra, who is this? guy sounds like an old man that lives on my block but fuck that guy i mean come on did he make this shit in his backyard in a fucking toilet oh my god it's fucking delicious <laughs> all right Kira's back. Come here. jason catch her up so you're, someone's eating your ass and uncle ezra's making it in a toilet so uncle ezra made fucking peanut butter ezra brooks jiffy whiskey and i fucking love it 
<laughs> oh my god, I feel so great. Kira, Kira, you need to come over. Let's do our nails, and we'll talk about peanut butter shit. In a, oh in a gosh, I'll do a facial and then do your hair, and you're just gonna feel so amazing. Oh my god, you guys! I got a facial from Brett last weekend. <gasps> Jeez, <laughs> gave Monica a facial last weekend. Hot damn woman, is she a slut or what? She's my best friend. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. But Wonderful. Yeah, she's a slut. She's great. She's a studious. <laughs> Oh, anyway, oh. sorry. Oh. oh my god, I just love it. I love it so much. <laughs> you motorboat tons of bitches. So you have a million people that love you, Jason. There are, <laughs> there are 250 plus people watching us dick around as Valley Girls. I, I, this, I, is, this, is, this is amazing. Oh my god, holy shit. Uh, what else could we do? <laughs> <laughs> Trev, what's what's funny is Trev is coming in and he has no fucking idea what's happening right now. <laughs> That's the best. Wait, my Trev? Yeah, your Trev. You yeah, play Trev. Trev. Your Trev. Mine. Trev. <laughs> you know what this look means. Your girlfriend also gives it to you and it means what the heck. Oh, Trev's girlfriend's so hot. She's so hot. Oh my gosh, she's so hot. Seriously. <laughs> This Ezra Brooks is so fucking good. It's like someone put chocolate in my GIF cup and I just drank it all. You guys see how Trev's girlfriend dresses? I don't like it because she's hotter than me and it pisses me off. He's got a bunk, a bunk, and I've got a, uh, and I'm not happy about it. Trev's girlfriend wears those pants that say juicy on the butt and I don't like it. <laughs> Wait, does, does she wear badunks? Because if she wears the dunks, I'm just done with trash. She's like the coolest girl in school. She's like the coolest girl in school wearing but dunks. I she definitely she wears, wears the boots I with the fur. Wears, like really short gym shorts, but like really high socks that go up to her knees. <laughs> <laughs> Trev, we actually do really like Ms. Wrench. We're just joking. Yep. We really do like her. She's actually very cool. I'm, sure I'm she's sorry. Very, she's very, she's very cool. cool. I'm, 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 trying, I'm trying to convince. I'm trying to convince my girlfriend to come on a live stream with me to see. Right now. No, no, not not now, but at some point to see if she would go on and like these try to get like a non whiskey person to try to get into whiskey. So, well, when that happens, buddy, invite Lance back and his significant other. Invite us back. Yeah, and we'll do it together. Her and I That'd can start great. with lemonade. And then PBR, and then she'll be fine. Still love PBR. It's, it's, wait, does 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 the miss not misses, but the miss mash and drum? Does she like PBR? Um, brr, what does she like? Uh, she's more of a wine person. I, I've kind of geared her towards whiskeys that are finished in wine. Mm -hmm. So you brought up you brought up Angel's Envy earlier, right? So yeah, yeah. she did. She liked sure. Angel's Envy. She liked Angel's Envy a little bit. Um, she also liked. Um, uh, what is a uh, four gate, which is which was surprising because oh. it's a high proof. Mm -hmm. He added a couple, you know, a few drops of water to it, and it was very like sweet and, and candy like for her. So yeah. she liked that one a lot too. So, not trying to compare your uh, significant other to my mother, but my mother was over a while ago, almost a year ago, and she knows that we like whiskey and bourbon, and she wanted to try something. And I just gave her straight up Eagle Rare with a lot of ice. Yeah. She, she, yeah. And yeah, felt, yeah. I mean, I mean that. Yeah, that actually kind of works because uh, whenever I gave her bourbon, I I pretty much like threw a whole mess of ice in it. Yeah. Um. You know, she's into like kind of the bourbon cocktails, some of the cocktails I make, but uh, when it comes to just like the straight up bourbons, yeah, she really likes the sweet stuff. I actually gave her an Angels Envy Cast Strength, and she really? she liked that one even more than the regular, which was surprising because it's a high proof. So. Mictors is a good gateway too, I think. Mictors American. Yeah, Mictors, actually, yeah, you guys have you guys have Mictors American, and I, I swear that shit that shit tastes like vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Oh, let's open it up. Open it up. <laughs> <laughs> let's pick them up. Uh, honestly, this Ezra Brooks ninety nine is actually pretty damn delicious. Uh, for I don't 20, know if we've got that in Illinois yet. It's it's twenty six bucks. It's ninety nine. It's ninety nine proof. I mean, yeah, it's Lux Row, so you know it's it's Heaven Hill stuff at least for the for the time being. Now, yeah. It's it's really good. I mean, it's all it's all peanut and peanut butter and vanilla and 
It has a good proof point. It's pretty damn delicious. Yeah, I'm going to have to pick some of that up. I mean, listen, it's not it, – obviously, it's a younger whiskey. It's younger bourbon. It's not going to blow you away. But for 26 bucks, I'd buy this shit all day. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. So when yeah. I – I used to be a brandy guy. I don't like to talk about it much, but it's late, so I, I highly doubt that there are 250 people still in chat. Yeah, no one cares. But right? I, I used to be a brandy guy, and when I first switched over to to uh, bourbon, actually, it was it was Evan Williams Black Label. Uh, I mean, no, it was I hadn't discovered White Label yet. I love that. But some of that low end Ezra Brooks, I would actually that was some of my first comparisons I ever did was Evan Williams Black Label to some of that low end Ezra. Ezra is one of the best value labels on the shelf that not a lot of you know a lot of people pay attention to you said the Evan Williams, but Ezra Brooks is great stuff. But yeah, old old Forester signature, a hundred mm -hmm. proof. We've that's got a great. bottle. Of yeah, that's that's, that's a great that's, that's a great selection as well for a like a budget bourbon. Absolutely. All right, so Kira and I are about to get into our very first sips per the inspiration of this live stream of Michter's Small Batch American Whiskey. Oh, yeah, you guys have it. never had it? Never. Oh, this will be cool. Do you have it, Lance? I'm actually I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to grab mine because uh, I'm going to have it. it with you guys. Let's do I it. I all mine, but it's good. You, I I'm interested to see what you guys think. Well, Lance, do you have Evan Williams bottle and bond cuz it's the same thing? I drank all that shit too, man. I drink oh, yeah. everything. I'm gonna cleanse real quick with a, a PBR extra. Smell your elbow. Smell, smell your elbow. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> We're still new. We don't know. Smell each other's elbows. It'll be fine. So what? Uh, so uh, so the trick is when you're. <laughs> yeah, you I don't know if that works, but it's a new thing. I think it'll it'll go. Definitely gotta catch on. It was fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you're when you're going in between when you're going in between uh drinks, you smell the inside of your elbow to like cleanse your nose and stuff. So when you go Sorry. back in to smell it. Show the inside. Who yeah. <laughs> hey, there great. you go. You got you guys are reset. Congratulations. I, I actually like that you guys smell each other's arms. That's pretty brilliant. Yeah. Mine probably smells worse than him because I use natural deodorant. She puts it on with a tongue depressor. It's really weird. Yeah, and I it smell like fruit bio all day. And I'm like, yeah, it's natural. So Wait, gross. you put you put deodorant on with a tongue depressor? Yeah, it's like a thick tongue depressor, and I scoop it out of a jar and I just wipe it in. It really is. It, it takes some getting used to. It does nothing. It actually helps me for about ten minutes, and then he just deals with it, and that's fine. How uh, Uncle videos Buck says, hey, YouTube. Jason, what's the giveaway? Uh, so for those of you, again, I'm giving away this uh, this brand. It's This is this is pretty new. Uh, this is a Wild Turkey 13-year father-son collaboration between Jimmy and Eddie Russell. This was supposed to be just a pure uh, a travel retail uh, shop. So, Hey, Jason, um, I'll, give away, I'll give away a flight as well. You want to give away a flight? Yeah, I'll give away a flight for sure. I'll give All away right, a we'll flight do. to the, uh, the Uncut Unfiltered I just tasted tonight. Um, we'll do the Traverse City uh, All right. Barrel Proof. I've got a lot of the other shit. I'll do a Stag Junior probably. All right, sounds good, man. Yeah, I'll do a flight too. So this we're is the. Uh, so we'll this is the. Wait, Jason, we're, our thunder is coming. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna give away the rest of this PBR whiskey. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. David's gonna piss in a bottle and he's gonna send it to one of you. Wait, no, that's not all you get. That's not all you get. He's being a dick. Okay. okay. What else? You also get dude oh. holds magazine. Oh, oh shit. Dude holds oh. magazine. Yeah. I, I I gotta get in on this. <laughs> So for five hundred dollars, you can get this and <laughs> half and half a bottle, and half oh, a bottle of half of whiskey. Wait, is that enough? Is that not enough? Do you want more? My, my mom, more. I think that's oh, what is that? Your mom magazine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Now, if you want your mom, I need um seven twenty-five. All right, I can just put this away. Seven hundred twenty-five dollars for your mom magazine. Mm -hmm. All right, so some some half drank uh, Paps whiskey, uh, uh, dude holds, and your mom magazine. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think that's legit. All right, so we'll do that. We'll do Lance's flight, and then we'll do the Wild Turkey 13 Father Son. Hey, uh, Jason. Jason, you're welcome. Yeah, sorry about it. We're going to get more people than you. <laughs> you're gonna. You're definitely going to get more people. Yep. <laughs> PBR, Uncle Buck says PBR and dudes, F yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah, Uncle Buck. He knows what's up. Uncle Buck is, Uncle Buck is legit. I think. All right, guys, let's go into the uh, go into the Mictors American. What do you think? Okay, that was my first sip. Oh, Friday. yeah. <laughs> Whiskey Wiggle, as a former high school wrestling coach, I got to have dude holds. <laughs> we'll send it to you. You know what? On our Patreon, we might put these graphics on, huh? Maybe. These graphics down on our Patreon. Not to, like, see the day Hopefully no one uh, tuned in late. Otherwise, unsubscribe, unsubscribe, unsubscribe. <laughs> dude, hey, Jason, welcome to the club, dude. Hey, you know, what we tried to talk about earlier, shelf turn subs go up five, <laughs> down five. <laughs> down five. <laughs> hey, li life's about balance, right? There you go. Right. Oh, look at these super chats. Buddy, you're blowing you up. You are blowing up. The they want the max. Yeah. They want the uh, man, what a giveaway getting in on this. Justin Kim, need that magazine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Will Henderson, need more Valley Girl reviews. <laughs> oh, I man. Mean, Valley Girl, okay, girl, this thing. So you, you go first. What am I even drinking? I forgot. Okay, it's American whiskey. It's Michter's. Right. You, tell me what you got. All right, Kira, I hate, Valley Girl. I hate Kira, to miss this. I'm going to be I'll right work. back. I want Kira to Valley Girl that shit. Go for All right. it. Here we go. You ready? Oh my God. This cheese does like Jason after he smoked a cigarette. Jason does not smoke cigarettes. Oh my God. He smokes so many cigarettes. He doesn't probably love you enough to like sow his true self. Wait, does Jason smoke camels like Brett does? <gasps> Brett is such a man with the camels. How do you know what Brett does? How do you know what Jason does, you <gasps> slut? <gasps> That end scene. End scene. That was it. You're welcome. That means we're both with the both boys. <laughs> All right. Do you want to do another one? No. Because you didn't laugh, Jason. No. The, the moment is past. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Oh no! I was I was literally crying inside. Holy shit! Okay. <laughs> oh my god. This is how all of our actual sex time starts. Yeah, I like the I, I do like the lisps. That's a that's a key ingredient. <laughs> Oh my god, David. Some people use like lotions and candles. We use Valley Girl accents and then we both rip off our bras. Oh my god. So American whiskey from Mitchter's fucking <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mitchter took like Ben and Jerry took a vanilla ice cream dump in my fucking glass. Oh my god. <laughs> I love Ben, but I hate Jerry. Jerry I just don't know gets off. Hmm. I know where Jerry gets off. Yeah. Jerry all over my face. Yeah, Just Jerry. Jerry can suck my left cheek. <laughs> what I miss, you kinky sons of bitches. Oh, uh, Mikhail, you were not here. What's going on? Where were you? Yeah, Mikhail. I did Jerry? a little tinkle, tinkle. <gasps> With who? With Brett? <laughs> Mikhail, what dump? Thanks, Just Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you, you poo pareed that shit, McCall. Gosh, people are bitches back in the nineties, huh? Yeah, people are bitches on this channel. This channel's full of bitches. Reviewing <laughs> American mixtures. First of all, off. I don't know who Mister Mixter is, but he needs to fucking get some new flavor town in my glass. Seriously, where is the Jack Daniels wine coolers? Where are they? Where is the, the secret? Where's, where's the where Boone's Farm? Boone's Farm. Oh, Jesus. This, 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 is not, this, is not smell, this does not smell or taste like fucking truly wild berries is my favorite. You know what I'm missing from this glass? A note of peach berry. Because there's no <laughs> peach berry in this glass. You guys know way more about girls than me. I do. <laughs> <laughs> My 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 grandpa grows peach berries in his fucking ass. <laughs> oh, wait. Um, wait, Angelina, because I believe those are called dingleberries. You're welcome. That's right. So sorry. So confusing. Too many asses. No one cleans their ass these days. I, I use the wipes. I clean that ass. 
<laughs> oh my god, 100% pure mustard. Zima, Zima is my favorite. Oh my god, I love Zima with a little bit of Jelly Rancher dropped in. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you mixing Evan Williams Bald and Bond with your Mictors? No, bitch, I fucking drink that. <laughs> Oh, shit. First of all, it's, it's, it's fucking mixtures. <laughs> <laughs> they are right. Oh, you guys are so fucking funny. This is the <laughs> best. No, that was me in my normal voice. This Sorry. is the <laughs> best Michelin tire whiskey I've ever had. Michelin tires <laughs> makes the best whiskey. Mr. Yeah, Mixers yeah. literally took a dump in my fucking glass with Ben and Jerry, fuckers. <laughs> is we this Wait, When's James Kira Bond? gonna use her voice? Wait, I don't understand. Is she, why isn't she playing along? Sometimes I use my voice, but sometimes I feel bad because fifty people left. <laughs> <laughs> Are we the having dude, a giveaway when you recover from this and get back to forty k? <laughs> the dude's got forty thousand subs. The dude's fine. <laughs> yeah. the congrats, subs. congrats on the forty k, you sexy beast. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I got a. I'm, I'm up to. Uh, I'm already at forty two point one. I'm hoping to hit that fifty. That fifty k uh, threshold uh, soon. So we'll Wait, see how. Wait, Jason, have, have you refreshed in the last hour, buddy? <laughs> just this little FYI, might want to not. Might want to not refresh. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna refresh real quick and see where we're at. Don't do it. No, I wouldn't do it, bud. It's uh, not. Good. Oh, we we gained. We're at forty two point two. All right. Ah, yeah. We didn't, we didn't ruin your channel. Woo. David, you know he like gained 60 or 70 from fucking tornado in the wall. <laughs> 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 Wait, is that David a you know, says you were at 44.8 before the stream. <laughs> Wait, did you just give Lance a suggestion to change his channel name from whiskey tornado to fucking tornado? Is that what you said? <laughs> oh my God, that's great. Do it. I like it. I like you should, it. You, should, you should just call it Tornado Valley and just do all your <laughs> just, do, just do all your freaking things in, in Valley Girl. It'd uh, be way more entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. I do feel bad because we do actually, whenever we, we join people's channels, they lose people. Yeah. <laughs> we, that's, we, that's not true. It, no, it is. It's, uh, I I promise you, Lance. We, well, well, fuck we, those guys. <laughs> we weed out the weak subs. Is what we do. We weed there out. You the go. Weak subs. We only <laughs> leave the good subs. No one needs weak subs. Yeah, I mean, honestly, between between Whiskey Tornado and Shell Turds, you, you know, you two, you twos, you threes, are probably, uh, you know, you're making really uh, great content, especially for new channels. Um, there's, you know, there's a lot of new channels that come and go because, you know, they don't realize how much work it is and also the editing and everything that gets involved. But I think you guys are, uh, you're, you're, you're at a point already. Well, you guys can only get better. And if you get better from here, it's going to be pretty epic. So congrats to you guys. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. So cool. So cool, man. Appreciate that. I actually want to quit. <laughs> <laughs> go out. Kira's going to transition from whiskey reviews to just doing fucking refried beans. <laughs> oh hey, hey, I would 100% sub I, to that and, channel. And, I, and, every, and everyone in this chat would fucking watch refried bean reviews from Kira. Sign me up. Heck yeah. You got those those craft refried beans. You got like the big supplier refried beans. There you go. Charles, Charles Hilger, subscribe to Turds and Tornadoes tonight. Never thought I'd say something like that. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Charles. Thanks, Charles. Thanks, Charles. ADHD oh, shelters average time spent editing your editing your video. Yeah, so oh, I'm curious. Yeah. I'm I'm curious, David, with all the all the brilliance that comes out of Kira. How much editing do you have to do? No, no, no. So, no. Don't even ask this question because I, I make him. Go ahead, David. All right. So <laughs> if you okay, here's the honest truth. Okay. If you, a 20 or 25 minute video out of shelf turds it means we have 80 minutes of footage <laughs> literally 80 minutes and and i'm no joke between 10 to 15 hours of editing so that's a, that's a nightmare man <laughs> <laughs> 
who do I have to cuddle with at night? Yeah, but, but, you guys, but you guys have like comedy gold. So it's, it's, it's you got you to catch those moments. That's that's the way I view it. That's the way I view it. And mm -hmm. I, I actually, editing is like a, a labor of love for me. I really do enjoy doing it. And yeah. Um, yeah no, I, no. Before you talk about Reese, okay. <laughs> We have one second. That's, Wait. that's John Reese, heir to the Reese's Pieces fortune. I know He's a it patron is. of ours. I know it is, but he understands that he can wait a minute. But behind me, John Reese. Sorry, John. Okay, listen. So, David spends so much time editing that I have to watch murder shows by myself. And do you know how irritating that is? Not maybe. Irritating. Maybe you could just say thank you. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I could see. <laughs> You're welcome, David. <laughs> what did, Look at it. I got this little mini Presley here. What did mini turd just bring you? A block of cheese. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I dropped it. It's a block of cheese. A block of My cheese. My daughter sucks. You didn't even drop me a single thing. A block of cheese, and it's on the ground now. <laughs> a block no. of cheese. Uh, David, in, on all seriousness, man, don't change a thing. You're... You bring something special to the whiskey too. Dude, right, well, I'm that. excited for you to get a divorce in a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, maybe. <laughs> when you're yeah. out, buddy. Jared's like, oh my god, I just dropped my fucking gouda. <laughs> oh my god, Jason, <laughs> you fucking talk shit about me, okay? Did you I drop your fucking gouda? And she's my best friend. And we talk about you all the time. I know about what happens. Underneath your toes. Have you okay. guys ever had a party with Paul Vardy? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I do, I do know that everything is better with cheddar. <laughs> <laughs> all right. For all intents and purposes, David's cool at editing, but you know what? I need David time. So sometimes we don't get a movie out or whatever the fuck so, it's Okay, called. so sometimes it literally is 14 or 15 days between videos. And that's part of the yeah. reason is because there really is 10 to 15 hours of editing per per long ass video. But but I have to say, like, that's that's just who we are. Like, I, I want to put it out being funny. I want to put mm -hmm. it out with, like, all the editing and, like, the adding of aliens and South Park gifts and all kinds of things. That's just the way I want to do it. So yeah. it's a little different, but you know what? If people want like content two or three times a week with actual real tasting notes in it, there's awesome channels like Whiskey Tornado and Masher Drum to do that. Yeah. We Don't put me in that category, man. No, I, I, I like like I feel bad because I can't get on everybody's live streams because I have two teenage daughters and a wife, and it's really hard to balance. So. I just basically shoot two videos every Friday night and then edit them over the weekend when my wife's watching some bullshit like Twilight or whatever. And uh, <laughs> and then and and then do some color correction and some you know, try to learn a little bit more. Like last week was the first week I like really and it was horrible, but it was the first week I like dedicated my my time to B-roll and it was horrible. But at least I'm like learning and trying and trying to make the channel better. Um, but with kids in the house, it's really tough. So I think you guys are doing great, man. I wouldn't change a thing. See, there you go. All right, before uh, Jason flexes his nuts, <laughs> when, you talk about, when you talk about when, how much time do you do that, Lance? When you do your B-roll and getting it all in? So, so I generally I train people Monday morning from like 5 a.m. to 7 p.m. and then on. On Friday, I only train people from like probably 7 a.m. to about 10 a.m. And I come home and I shoot my two videos from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. or whatever it is. And it went the, the, my wife and my kids leave the house. They go to dinner with the in-laws or whatever. And I have a couple hours to shoot videos. <clears throat> and, then, uh, and then I spend the weekend editing and hopefully get a video out Monday and hopefully get a video out Thursday. Um, when COVID hit, it was really hard because the kids were home all the time. And since I've got kind of used to the schedule, it's been a little bit easier and I've been out, been, been able to get more content out regularly. Um, but number one on my goal is to take my wife out for a date night every week. That's, that's number one. Um, yes. so yeah. So if you can do that, you know, everything else is secondary. And if I get a, if I get two videos out a week, great. If I don't, that's okay too. 
Um, we'll see, we'll see what happens, but, but that's number one. Taking my wife out on a date once a week is number one goal. Hey, yeah, Jason, Jason, would you real quick highlight Andy HG whiskey's comment? I think it's hilarious. This one. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck your training people. <laughs> Yeah, but wait, did you all hear about freaking Lance loving his wife? I think that's what all of y'all or most of y'all hear. Yes, yes. Where is your block of cheese? Where is it at? I, I dropped it. It is. It's about, it's about, you know, a lot of it is, is definitely balance. You know, I have, uh, I have my regular, you know, job and trying to balance the channel and the channel, you know, with it getting more and uh you know more and more viewers it's uh it's it's pretty crazy and but but i love it if if it wasn't fun i wouldn't do it so Jason, yeah i, I, I Jason, learned i, I learned about sorry you. go ahead kira sorry i was just telling jason i didn't ask i didn't ask about your kira, kira i'm flexing my nuts for you i mean jesus <laughs> <laughs> I, I honestly learned a lot of things from my fitness channel where I, I took too much time with my fitness channel, not enough time with the kids. And so that's that's number one to me, spending time with my daughters and my wife and then channel secondary. So I try to get on and, and support all the channels and, and definitely support them through Patreon. But um, but it, it's still tough. I wish I could support more. I wish I could get to know more people. Uh, but but the community is amazing. So I think everybody will be just fine. I, I agree, with you, man. I do. I, there's there's yeah, so many, and, uh, and now and nowadays there's so many channels that you can latch on to. You know, it's really all about what you find entertaining and also what you find as far as uh, um, like the the palettes that you line up with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. No, I I'm with you. I know there's a lot of there's a lot of newer channels like us on the on the docket. I, I think it's I think it's awesome, man. I think that there's a lot of a lot of new collaboration that happens. I think there's a lot of new inspiration that happens when you see what a new channel does. Like even for us, like we've only been we've only been around since August 28th, 2020. That's when we posted our first video. And I see new channels come on. And I'm like, I want I want to steal from them. I want to steal from them. I'm inspired by them. It's awesome to see all these new channels come up, and I love it. I love it that we have choices. I love it that we can just have constant content. There's no there's no there's no lack of content out there right now. Yeah, and, uh, for sure. it's, for sure. it's amazing. And uh, yeah. and shh, shh, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. And, you know, what I what I what I love about Jason's channel is that he's all about um, building the biggest building without tearing other buildings down. You know, there's no reason for these smaller channels to tear channels down. It's just do your thing, love whiskey, enjoy the community, stay positive. And and just help everybody grow. It's it's a wonderful thing. Can I call something out real quick? Yeah, sure. Um, when we were live with Trev, we had some fun with the Stave Society. In Stave Society is being a. And I'm seeing the Stave Society. The Stave I can't even say it anymore. I'm drunk. The Stave, the Stave Society is here. Hole. Stave. Okay, don't listen to Kira. Just listen to me. Shh. Stave Society, don't. We had fun with you. If you haven't watched the live with Trev Wilson. Go watch it because my very first interaction with Trev Wilson happened while you were in a chat with ADHD Whiskey. I captured it. We manipulated it a little bit, but I've never <laughs> seen you in a chat since, buddy. So go check it out. Love you already. Steve's society means he is a um, penis in random holes. <laughs> Might be time to wrap this live up, buddy. Yeah, let's, no. let's give it. Let's let's give away some shit. Here we go. No, let's do it. Let's do it. Sorry All right, Daniel you. Daniel Kerber. Uh, I think in the chat he said numbers are one to one seventy five. So shelf turds for your giveaway of your two magazines and some Paps Blue Ribbon whiskey. Uh, choose a number between one and one seventy five. Sixty nine. We choose sixty nine. Of course, 69. 69. Okay. <laughs> Daniel Kerber Kirby, what is number 69 from Kira? Oh my God, see such a slot. Oh my God. For half a bottle of whiskey mm. and some fake magazines. Who is <laughs> we'll give you more shit than this, honestly. We'll also give you some fireball. And ask Adriana, we'll give you shit. I mean, not cool stuff. 
We'll give you cool stuff. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got, Kirby? Who is number six? He doesn't want to say. He's the like, say out, number T. Six Hutch. Line is T. Hutch. Nailed hey, it. You're mine now, T. Hutch. Oh, T. Hutch, you don't belong to any you other channel now. You belong to me, along with Corey, <laughs> along with Trev Wilson, along with the all the likes. All the Kira, likes. Kira has claimed T. Hutch. Congratulations, T. Hutch. Uh, where can they uh, where can they connect with you guys to, to claim their magazines and paps? Shelf Turds Channel at gmail.com. It's also on our about on our YouTube or David Shelf Turds, Shelf underscore turds on Facebook. Either one, but Shelf Turds Channel at gmail.com is probably the best way to do it, buddy. Or you can call look up the shit. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. Next up, we got Lance, Lance, pick a number between one and one seventy-five, so you can build them a flight. What do you got? Let's do, let's do seventeen. That's my oldest daughter's age. So actually, she's eighteen now. Maybe I should do eighteen. Let's uh -oh. do eight. Let's do it. Oh, let's wow. do eighteen. I, I feel bad for whoever seventeen was. I know that was that was so <laughs> wrong. Let's go, uh, Daniel Kerber. Who is number eighteen? Fuck your seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, they'll get they'll get over it. Well, seventeen. Do you want a little thing of fireball? <laughs> I feel, uh, I'm going to bow out now and go live now. If you could send a couple people over when you're done, someone tell me if oh, I Ash, want. I'll come. I'll come. We'll, we'll do, Mr. Wags. Daniel Kerber. Number eighteen is DMC. Oh, DMC! Oh, yes. Nice. That's awesome. So DMC, uh, you can either hit me up on Instagram at the Whiskey Tornado or just email me at the Whiskey Tornado at gmail.com. Either one works, buddy. DMC, congrats, man. That's awesome. You got something. In All right. The mail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is for the Golden Turkey. David Goldman, no one says suck it except us. Duh. I'm going to pick number. I'm going to go somewhere in the middle here. I'm going to go with one. You know what? Wild Turkey 101 is one of my favorites. I'm going to go with number 101. That is for, a dumb summer. For the, for, the turkey set, for the turkey 13. Who is it? Who's, who's number 101, Mr. Kirby? I'm so scared right now. You guys, this is our theme song. <laughs> Did we just become best friends? We just became best friends. Oh, wait, Stanley Wagner Jr. Are you oh. serious? Oh, my God. The bingo bus is coming, and everybody's running. Holy shit! Freaking Wags got the wild turkey. He just said, "I'm going live, and if I if I win, let me know." We're gonna we're gonna have to we're all gonna have to go to Stanley Wagner, the Mashville. Go to his live stream. Somebody right. dropped the link. One of the mods dropped the link Good. in the chat. We could all go invade his live stream after this and let him know that he won the wild turkey. Holy shit. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. This was uh, a pretty epic live stream, guys. What can I say? Does anybody <laughs> want to win a can of beans? <laughs> pallet. Who wins? Are you giving away a pallet? I need a pallet of beans. One can of beans One away. can of beans for the oh, next Oh, that's time. bullshit. <laughs> For the next person that types in, hold on, no, no, make, make, okay. So Jason, we will send a can of refried beans. <laughs> no one's gonna give money for that shit. And dude. one small thing of Fireball, one little nip of Fireball. Okay, to the number you pick, buddy. It's your channel. You get the honors. We're ready. All right, let's go. Uh, Kira, Kira, when's your birthday? Thirteen. Chris, Chris said you got to autograph the beans. You gotta autograph the oh, beans. 13 of 86. So you get to pick 13 or 86. Uh you know what? Let's do 86 because that was the year my New York Mets won the World Series. So 86. Gross. 86. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Gross. Oh my god, I love my Metsies. Okay, 86. Oh oh uh, Daniel Daniel Kerber, who is number 86, that is gonna get the fucking fried beans with the spoon in it. ADHD whiskey is like. 
Man. Man wants my beans. He wants a can of beans so bad. He's like, yes, cure it. Number 80. Oh my god, 86 is one is the one and only. Everybody. Okay. <laughs> Amy, you know you're getting more shit than beans. Shell turds channel at gmail.com, Amy. No, Amy, Amy's Amy. getting beans, a spoon, and <laughs> God knows what else. Amy is OG. Shelter's Amy is family. an OG. Yes, she is. Yeah, she's the best. But dude, what's your what's your main what's your name that you have to say to her? <laughs> what? I forget it. Oh, Matt's man. killing me. Fucking rigged. I think, I, think, I think you should just send Matt some beans anyway if you got a palate. Okay. Of it. Matt, yeah. Matt, buddy, guess a number in the chat and then we'll guess it for a special prize of Matt, I'll send you of, beans. We're gonna, we're gonna send, <laughs> We're going to send Matt Johnny's smoking gun and some beans. Matt, gets a number in the chat, buddy. <laughs> no, wait. So listen. Hey, Lance. <laughs> don't bring me in on your shenanigans. Nope. Hey, nope, because you're beautiful and you're right there. Guess what? <laughs> Do you like Johnny's smoking gun? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I've ever had it. All right. Wonderful. I'll send it to you. Hey, <laughs> Hi, Jason. Hi, Kira. Uh, do you like Johnny Smoking Gun? Yes, I do. <gasps> do you want me to send you some? Yes. Great. I'm going to send both of y'all some Johnny, and then all three of us are not going to do Johnny because I'm not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but we're all going to do it together. All right. So before you send us all the Johnny Smoking Gun, I want everybody to remember to head over to the mash bill because he's live right now. Let him know that he won his turkey. All right, let's do it. Uh, but I also want to say before we sign off, I want to give a huge shout out to Will Henderson for providing this amazing blind flight he did tonight. So thank you, Will. It was uh, great. Give a and shelf turds, let us know where to find you. And I want to say thank you for coming on. This was an absolute blast tonight. Thank you so much. Honestly, this is great. So Shelf Turds at YouTube, David underscore Shelf Turds, Facebook, Shelf Turds on There's, Instagram. David, people know just put you, what, what, what's your next video? What's your next video you guys have coming out? We're gonna do we've already shot some then. What are that? Oh. I right. can't remember what we did. Yeah, I'll, I'll help her. I'll help her out. So um we've already shot two that I'm painstakingly beginning to edit as of tomorrow. It is another quickie with Kira. Okay. Uh, featuring uh, patron Aaron Blizzard. So that is where oh. Kira, Kira reviews two whiskeys, and there's a funk song behind it, and I, I narrate it. So uh, super awkward and sexual. And then beyond that, Daniel Kerber sent us a flight, and we recorded that. Nice. And um, he had me entirely befuddled. Yeah, it's a crazy time. flight. You need to watch it. It's a stupid <laughs> flight. It's a really bad flight on my part. Kira is okay. But if, if Daniel sends us the pictures that we asked him to send him, if Daniel sends the pictures we asked him to send us, then it should be a pretty good video. All right, wrap it up. This is getting annoying. Uh, Lance, yeah. Lance, real quick, tell everyone where to find you, what you got coming up. You you don't need to sub to me. Just sub to Shelf Turds. They're amazing. Yeah. <laughs> everyone, everyone, go check out Lance at Whiskey Tornado. He's got some actually some really good content. So uh, go check him out. His blind flights are actually really spot on. Uh, so thank you to you okay. guys. Thanks for everyone tuning in tonight. Uh, congrats to all the winners. Uh, and yeah, keep an eye out for mm -hmm. my next couple of videos coming up next week. Uh, we're going to be having the Spirits of French Lick on out of Indiana. Really amazing up uh, and, and new distillery that are coming out with some amazing uh, whiskeys and bourbons. Um, they sent me uh, a whole bunch of stuff to try with you guys. So uh, definitely tune into that next week. And uh, again, uh, cheers for all the super chats. And what can I say? Thanks again to Will. And Dude, tornado, tornado, tornado. Tornado, do the tornado. 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 I gotta say one thing. I'm not gay, but if I was, Jason, you'd do it for me. <laughs> okay, okay, that deserves a chant. Everybody. <laughs> and, and, and with that, and with tornado. that, I always say it's not a tornado. <laughs> tornado.
Oh, it's you don't not, do it's it. not about the whiskey you, the whiskey you share it with. So cheers to the shelf turds. Cheers to Whiskey Tornado. We'll see you guys next week right here on the Match and Drone. Take care, everybody. Cheers, guys. Salud. Salud.